Hello. Hello. Okay, yes, under on testing. Good morning, Sandra. I'm testing. Hello. Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Hello, good morning. I can hear you. Sabah khair. Sabah khair. Shul akhbar. Alhamdulillah, shul akhbar kinta. Hey, kul shay tamam, alhamdulillah. So everything's shagal. You can hear me and see me. Yes, but you have to move the camera down, a little bit down. Because we can see only... Yes. Something like that? Ahsan, Ahsan Bikadir. Masha, okay, good, good. Okay, good. It's, it's nice to hear from you and see you after the crisis in Italy. My pleasure to see you and my pleasure to stay in contact with you. Everything okay. is fine here and uh, we are recovering. Shuya, shuya. Good, good, <laughs> good. Okay, doctor. Okay. Everything is fine. We, now we cut the conversation. And then we will reopen it because uh, we are doing some testing. Okay, in and, about uh, 50 minutes. Okay. See you. Thank you. Bye bye.
Hello. Hello. Good morning. That's good, good morning. morning. So it's working now. Good morning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm Sandra Goffin from the EU delegation. I wanted to check because uh, I had a problem, but I now changed to another computer and now the audio is working. So that's fine. Thank you very much for us. Okay, thanks. See you later. Okay. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. know more about but also uh, to establish as we are doing and during all these years a very long long cooperation among us and very fruitful cooperation among us because it's uh, the, the only reason that we are doing all this work to establish also with the Libyan universities the same cooperation framework that we already have with all southern Mediterranean countries that's good that's great I saw also my, my team, uh, the Libya staff UNIMED uh, group, which is very rich, Silvia Marchionne, Martina Zipoli, Eugenio Platania, and Lorenzo Pastorini, Marco Di Donato. Probably there is not Raniero Chieti with us. I don't know if our colleague and friends from the ministry are on with us online. Sultan Salem is writing me via WhatsApp, but I don't know, I don't see him. Participation is growing. Um, good morning, Ms. Goffin. Bonjour. Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, Hamid. Ça va? Très bien, toi? Good morning. 
Uh, I have to ask you to mute, please, your micro, because there is some echo. And um, Martina, please, how many people registered we have? Can we have a permission for record the uh, meeting? We we will <coughs> we will record the meeting for okay. if there is any problem. Uh, okay, because when we push the button for recording, they ask the permission. Sure, sure, because my, my, my must be done by the the host uh, normally, but we will record it. Yeah, please. Then yeah, sure, sure. Bus bus. Be useful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now it's growing the participation. I think that's uh, still uh, uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll just wait some minutes more because there is some people that is joining us. We, I remind you that I inform you that we have uh, interpretation available from English to Arabic, but you have to select the French uh, channel because there is not in Zoom uh, the, the Arabic channel. But there will be translation from English to Arabic and obviously vice versa. This to allow to all of you to participate in the best way possible. Um, Marco, please, we ask the, the, the authorization to record the webinar or not? No, no. no. no Marco, I, I don't, didn't listen to you. Now, you. now you should listen to me. Okay. 
Marco, sorry. abbiamo chiesto l'autorizzazione per registrare. Sì, è in registration form. Okay. Però magari se lo ricordi è sempre meglio per... Ok, we uh, already requested to you the authorization to record the webinar in the registration form. And all of you, I suppose, give us the, uh, the authorization. And I hope that is not a problem. But it's important to record to have uh, some uh, memory of the, the contents because we have to prepare a report, obviously, about everything. Hello. Yes, we're speaking. Good morning. Dr. Mohamed Rawimi from Al Mergab University. Hi, Mohamed. Are you okay? <laughs> This is the University of Tripoli speaking. Oh, your audio is very low. Sorry. Assalamu alaikum, sabah khair, luk wa zumula jamia. Good morning, Marcello and uh, your team. Hi, morning. Uh, Sultan Salim speaking from uh, Ministry of Education uh, Media. Hi, Sultan. Uh, thank you. We have to wait a few minutes. Dr. Ali Bakir is uh, in his way here. He's the director of Nash, uh, Libyan National Erasmus Plus. So he has to be with us uh, shortly. So we can Okay. Uh, okay. We, we, I think that we wait. Ali, of, of course, we start uh, in any case, we will start in five minutes and then. Ali. Mr. Scalizzi, yes. do you hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Uh, I'm, um, I'm one of the interpreters. We are working from Tunis, Tunisia. So, so is the sound clear for you? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for your participation. You are most welcome, sir. So, um, there will be uh, one issue we'd like to settle down with you, is that we are going to use one channel, which is the French channel for both languages, to translate when we translate into Arabic or into English, you don't have to shift into English or French, just we keep the French channel and we will provide you uh, with translation in both languages. Would that do? Excellent. I kindly ask you, if possible, to give the same information in Arabic. Yeah, I'm going to give the same information to the Libyan delegation. Please. Thank you very much. Yeah. You are welcome, sir. Yeah. Sabah al khair. Sabah al khair. أنا منذر القلع من تونس ومعايا زميلي الأستاذ قيس لحبي من تونس سنكون مترجمي هذه الندوة وسنتولى تمكينكم من الترجمة باللغة العربية نرجو منكم استخدام قناة المكتوب عليها فرنش بالفرنسي سوف لن ننتقل بين القناتين الفرنسية والإنجليزية وذلك من أجل عدم تليتكم بالأمور التقنية وسنكتفي بقناة واحدة إذا بإمكانكم الاستماع إلى أي لغة سواء الإنجليزية أو العربية من خلال القناة الفرنسية على هذا مفهوم ألو 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 Oops. I think Mr. Abdullah, Dr. Abdullah, Dr. Atiyah. Don, marhaba bik. Smart Rizalti. Yes, smart. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you need to translate in the Arabic language. Inshallah. 
ان شاء الله اوكي دونك نحب نتصل بالاخوه في جميع ترابلز صباح الخير ترابلز جميع ترابلز حضرت الدكاتره الاجلاء تسمعوني نعم نعم نسمع الان وضوح الصوت غير واضح من لدنيكم دكتور محمد نعم الصوت انت هل انتم في ترابلس لا احنا يمكن يمكن تستخدموا الميكروفون للحديث لان الصوت متقطع وبعيد جدا دكتور محمد غوما نعم اسمعك واضح جدا صباح الخير دكتور احنا نسمعك اما الاخوه في جامعة طرابلس لا يسيرون الصوت هو صوت بعيد ومتقطع نحن لدينا مشكلة بسيطة في لأن احنا نجلس على طاولة الاجتماعات بعيدة شوية على اللاب الصوت بتاع اللابتوب نحاول نعاود حتى تسمعونا أفضل أي هو الأفضل أي واحد منكم يريد التحدث أنه يقترب من لقطة الصوت من الميكروفون إذا لم نجد حل المشكلة سنعمل بهذا أوكي هو الأفضل يكون يكون أمام كل واحد منكم لقطة صوت خاص به السلام عليكم مرحبا اهلا وسهلا مرحبا مرحبا آه، الو دكتور محمد العتوق مدير عام المركز الوطني لضمان جوده المؤسسات التعليميه مرحبا دكتور محمد اهلا وسهلا بكم معي زملائي الدكتور دكتور جمال فرده مستشار تعليمي والدكتور عبد المجيد شعبان مدير اداره الاعتماد مرحبا بكم جميعا نحن من فريق الترجمه من تونس. اهلا وسهلا بكم بالساده الزملاء وعلى الجامعات والحضور جميعا. الو؟ نعم اخ سفيان. دكتور محمد؟ نعم نعم اخ سفيان. صافي 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 Do you have any update from uh, Ali Bakir? Because uh, otherwise we could start with the opening at least. In the main gate of the university. This is the right thing, yeah. He needs a few minutes to be. Okay, okay. Because uh, I think that he could skip my introduction. It's, it's not so relevant to, uh, at the end. He, he comes from Masrata. He starts his journey early this morning. So it's... Wow.
Good morning. Can you hear you? Yes. Really. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, this is Ali JR from Benghazi University. Hi, Ali. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, Hi. thanks. How's everybody? Sabah al khair alaykum, Jamian. Fantastico. Perfecto. How is the weather in Libya today? It's very hot. Very nice today. Uh, the weather is good. It's quite hot today. Okay, uh, waiting that uh, the, the National Erasmus Office uh, will be with us, Mr. Ali Bakir. I will give you, uh, I will give you some uh, instructions about how it this, this uh, uh, day will, uh, will, uh, will work. First of all, first of all, I can't ask you to mute your microphone because otherwise you have a lot of noise. And I can't ask you. Unfortunately, I listened to Sofian in 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 my, uh, in my headphone. I don't know if. Okay, now it's okay. Sorry, it was my mistake. Uh, there is technical issue because I listen to in my headphone. Probably في سماعتي ربما يجب على سفيان أن يقوم بوضع لاقة الصوت في موضع الصمت. Uh, Mr. Scalizzi, yes, I'm using the mic of Sofian, so this is how uh, I deliver translation. Otherwise, uh, there won't be any translation. Okay, by how uh, I could not listen you in uh, yeah. because talking, I uh, listen your uh, translation. Yeah, so this is the only way for me to uh, deliver translation. Okay. We, uh, we will see how it works because it's not. So uh, you can maybe you can shift to the other channel. Okay, I will uh, put on English. Okay, yeah. but I still listen to you. You still listen to me. Yes. Because it's very strange. Normally, a translation not uh, we don't have to listen to you. Yeah, normally. Oh, hi, but, uh, oh, hi, hi. But I think, Mr. Scalizzi, I think yes. you uh, you don't need to put on your headsets when you are speaking. This is another possibility. <laughs> <laughs> try. I will try this way. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. But I don't know if the other people listen me and you as well. Uh, the other the um, the other attendees yes. uh, won't, won't need to listen to you as. Uh, they need uh, my interpretation. Not, not, all, not all of them. Not all, not all of them. Ah. Hear both. So do you, do you listen to both uh, languages, to English yes, and French? But I think yes. that if you are uh, uh, inside the, the room as interpreter, probably it's not necessary that you are uh, uh, unmute. Probably you could be muted in English. 
Could we try? Now, if, if I am mute, I cannot uh, deliver any interpretation. They won't hear me. I'm going to uh, mute uh, my mic here and you will see. Okay, I can't ask Marco to verify if interpretation is working, please, or my colleague, uh, just to be sure. Interpretation is there. I'm trying to just to find the, the way to give the right uh, possibility to all the colleagues. Can you give me a signal if now it's okay, it's working well and not, uh, is the interpretation is there or not? Scusate, un cenno, Silvia, Marco, Martina. Eh, Mar eh, Marcello, stiamo cercando di capire perché eh, anche noi sentivamo entrambi, sia te che... Eh, no, adesso, che... adesso sentite... Adesso solo, sento solo te. Ok. Sento solo te adesso. No. No. Voi avete provato no. questa cosa? No. Sì, sì, abbiamo sì, fatto la prova. Che noi dovremmo metterci tutti su English, che è la lingua, diciamo, di origine, e gli altri su French per sentire l'interpretariato. Sì, ma se lui usa... sì, ma... ma lui è, in, è in, nella room come interprete? Sì, sì, sì. Ok. Quindi cioè, dovrei fare English. Qua. Provo a mettere in inglese. Marcello, ok. Così, uh... Non dovresti sentirlo. Sì. Lo sì. senti? Can... Dovremmo chiedere a Sofia yes. di fare una prova adesso. Uh, can we... I... Io sento anche lui. Sento I... Now I'm using the channel English. Ok. Yeah. Try to translate again now and uh, Hello. We'll see if it works. Do you hear me? Yes, now yes, but I, I'm trying yeah. because if you are in the room as interpreter, normally you have to use the French channel. Yeah, right? I'm using the French channel, but you ask me to use the English one. Okay. So I shifted to the no, English. No, no, no. But I believe that you have to cut off or to switch off the, um, you know, when there, the uh, window where you find yes, yes, the, uh, the, the different channels. So you switch off the original audio. Okay, I already did. And uh, if- Do you still we, hear me? Yes. Please yes, move, move to French. Uh, yeah, I moved to French, yeah. I did it. Okay. Uh, I will try because uh, otherwise it's very- uh, I, I, I can't ask Martina that I did the trial with you to check if everything is now working well or not. Will do. Okay. But actually, in, what, what we did is that the speaker is on the English language and the translator is on the other channel. And on French, did, yeah. Yeah, and we didn't yeah, hear the, the translators. So. Okay, I will, I, I, I will try to, to yeah, move on and then we will see if it works or not. Okay. First of all, as I said, I can't ask you to mute your microphone. And, and uh, okay. Uh, and and uh, if during the session, if you have any question, I can ask you to write on the chat. أرجو منكم أن تقوموا بتدوينها وإرسالها في خانة التشات وهكذا سيكون هناك بعض الوقت مخصص للمساهمات من قبل المتداخلين أو المتداخلين منكم ثم نفتح الباب أمام النقاش من أجل مناقشة التوصيات uh, colleague, now it works. Uh, I don't know if he's arrived or not. Uh, he wrote now me via WhatsApp that he be there in five minutes. Uh, الشخصين من يونيمات وهو الأمين العام الأستاذ حميد 
currently in Tunis, which is the former president of the And our uh, former president, but still uh, honorary president of Unimed, Professor Wael Ben Jaloun, which is the former rector of the uh, University of Mohammed Bank of Rabat, which is in, in Morocco, in Morocco. Uh, another special thanks to the European uh, Libya. Uh, because they, uh, you know that this Libya report is uh, an initiative directly launched by UNIMED with our own institutional dimension. Uh, but the European delegation in Libya uh, from the beginning uh, decided to support as you know, we tried uh, several times to organize a physical conference, uh, a conference in Tunisia. But unfortunately, this was not uh, The reason why uh, it was not possible for uh, the current situation. And now we have COVID-19 that is affecting our daily life. But they gave us the support in several, uh, several times. And uh, I, I have two thanks from the beginning of this session, uh, Madame Sadra Goffin and also Antoni Samoulis, and also the previous colleague that worked with us from the European delegation, uh, because they, from the beginning, gave us complete uh, support and also uh, a genuine and interest to our uh, knowledge. That is not common, I guess. That is not common, because, you know, some time by time, the EU bureaucracy is very complicated, but not in this case we receive it. Um, obviously, a special thanks to all of you for the contribution to the Libya Study Report. But not only. I have to say that we uh, found in, in the European universities a uh, uh, a strong commitment to cooperate with uh, Five years ago, there was no any Libyan university in our network. Now, we have 11 universities in our network. And Libya now is the second country in terms of members in the Unimed, which is quite surprising for us, but at the same time, it shows us the great interest of Libyan universities to open the door the international to open the door to this academic community in the Mediterranean uh, region. And this was possible only thanks to your participation to all your answers to our activities. And of course, I have to thank also the, 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 the other European universities that are leading the approach to Libya, that are cooperating because they take the of Turin, the Embrain project that also is managing the phase project and also from previous and the first project that we managed to make to the of Calabria that was the role of the also thank you to them a set of important indicators a set of important indicators uh, and of course I have to thank all my team and the people that have been in this room that I mentioned before for the great contribution in some way a longer history for the reason for you, which is only useful, but a starting point of something more than you can do. Uh, before to give the floor to our speaker, I would like just to summarize the reason why we did the Libya uh, restart. 
the reason why we decided in the end of 2017 to start this idea. Uh, once we started with our first project, we dedicated to the university uh, and the university. Uh, we were obviously uh, not uh, we are very familiar with Mediterranean cooperation. We have uh, UNIMED started in 1991. We have projects in all our uh, countries. We have members from Morocco and Syria. But it was the first time for us to cooperate with the Libyan And we were worried also about the situation uh, in Libya. But we found a very interesting uh, situation in the Libyan University. Because looking at the situation in the country, the Libyan universities were, we discovered that they were working normally or quite normally. And that was also very considered as a an independent place in comparison with the situation of the country. وراينا أنها استقل نسبيا بالنظر إلى وضع البلاد وهذا كان مفاجئا مفاجئا لنا وبالنظر إلى تجارب في بلدنا الأخرى وانطلاقا من هذا الوضع وفي نقاش مع فوق وطرحنا أسئلة وقررنا أن نطلع هذه الفكرة أي that we had at the end of 2017, uh, and uh, we were very supported on this by our former president, Professor Ramon Benjamin, and, uh, and we sent 19 questionnaires to 19 universities. And we received a text, 17 questions, which if you are familiar with Sarbanes in Europe, and if you are familiar with the countries, generally speaking, it's not the common figures, 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 and this was the correct year that we were the Libyan University wants to be more open to international cooperation and to be more international with other partners in the region. And obviously, it's very important that they would like to do this urban to pass thanks to this European cooperation framework. We started with Collect Data and then in 2018 we did a set of interview with uh, all of you and of, of your previous colleagues to complete the analysis, to make our scenario. And then we started to, with the idea to launch a conference that with the main, con the main goal of this conference was to discuss more in detail about the results of the data and to go more in detail about the Now, after two years, obviously, all this must be updated uh, for sure. And I'm sure that some of them are already, uh, I don't want to say old, old but sure, we need to update them. And if you are available, we could start in the next six months to update uh, all the data. But more important is not only the data, but is to work and to discuss about the recommendations. The recommendations in some way, in some way or another are the result of this common dialogue that independently by the data that we express in the infographics and in the report in itself are something that remain and uh, that I consider personally a starting point of this long-term cooperation that we are going to establish. Uh, you know that today we will discuss more in detail about these recommendations, about your contributions to these recommendations, to prepare this large conference again in line, unfortunately, uh, on the 24th of uh, June, that will be open to international stakeholders. We are now inviting international players to join us and to discuss with you about your priorities, about your needs, about what is the, the results of our report, about our uh, recommendations.
uh, I think that we have to stay on, focused on this on this point. The recommendations could be uh, are in some way uh, uh, your position joint with UNIMED, of course, that your position to establish long-term of cooperation with your international partners, with all the international stakeholders. The main goal of this is not to invite uh, the European Commission to finance all the things that we are discussing. This is uh, not uh, the goal of this session. But we could find solution to the needs of European universities in Libya only starting with a common vision, a common analysis, this recommendation, and so on. And then, all by projects, all by cooperation with international stakeholders, and thanks obviously to international player international institution like the European Commission but also why not World Bank many others uh, to find solutions to the recommendation provided by this uh, this is the first time that UNIMED has a, a sort of national exercise uh, and this is a starting point of a long, uh, I hope, a long history of activity on uh, national, national and regional overview of the higher education system. And it was for us very amazing. Uh, activity and now we are ready, as I said, to improve this report to discuss with you, of course, and I hope soon in the next uh, semester or next year to organize a physical conference, inshallah, in, in Libya. Uh, okay, I think that I can stop here about this preliminary session, probably I was not long enough to give Ali Bakir the possibility <laughs> to join us. I imagine that he had some problem, but he will uh, uh, surely will be with us. In he wrote me again in uh, five minutes, but it was uh, some minutes ago. And now I can ask you uh, our uh, before to go more uh, in detail our former president, uh, Professor Wade Benjamin, to say something, to address some um, a brief message to all of you. Wade? Your mic is mute, sorry. Yes. Okay. No, now it's yes. No, it's no, yes. Uh, good morning, uh, it's a pleasure to be here and it's a, uh, it, it's uh, the, the the paper itself is a magnificent paper as far as I'm concerned. I think we have been very lucky in the last uh, two years uh, to have reports from uh, uh, the educational uh, systems, the higher education uh, systems uh, in uh, Morocco, uh, from the uh, uh, higher uh, council uh, in Tunisia, uh, from the, uh, the, uh, the Ministry uh, 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 of Higher Education, uh, from Algeria, uh, from Esagot, project and now we have this uh, very impressive report from uh, Libya. I must congratulate my Libyan colleagues and you uh, on, uh, on this work. I think we have found many strong points in this, uh, in this report and I will be talking a little bit later about some points that I think in my opinion because I'm not uh, in the Libyan context in my opinion be, uh, uh, so, uh, I'm looking forward to a very strong and very interesting meeting this morning. It's a pleasure for me to have the occasion to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Vail. And Shukran. now I give the floor to Madam Sandra Goffin from the European Delegation Sandra of Libya. Please, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Mr. Elisi. Um, colleagues from Minimet and Libyan friends and Gondrans, I'm actually very happy to be amongst you today. I'm the head of operation at the Indian Delegation. I'm the head of operation at the Indian Delegation. I'm the head of operation at the Indian Delegation. I'm the head of operation at the Indian Delegation. I'm the head of operation at the Indian Delegation. 
لقاءكم في طرابلس واود ان ابدا بشكر يونيمت على هذه الدعوه وعلى تنظيم هذا الاجتماع وعلى جهودهم من اجل مساعدتنا لنفهم التعليم العالي في ليبيا واود ان اعبر عن امتناني للجامعات الليبيه والسلطات الليبيه التي جعلت من هذا الاجتماع امرا ممكنا وعلى الجهود بمواصله فتح الجامعات ولانفتاحهم على هذا المجال وبعد ذلك اقول ان بعد اطلاعي على هذا التقرير الرائع حول ليبيا وهو من اكبر والتعليم العالي هو من اكبر ركائز ركائز مجتمعاتنا اود ان اقول ان ليبيا ان هذا التقرير تناول الجوانب المتعلقه بالتخوف بالمنظومه التعليميه واليوم انا مقتنع اكثر ان هناك العديد من الفرق الإيجابية بالنسبة لمستقبل التعليم العالي في ليبيا وما فاجأني هو كيف أن الجامعات الليبية على امتداد سنوات الأزمة والنزاع كانت ركائز الاستقرار والمصالحة وواصلت عملها وواصلت تقديم الدروس وتنظيم البحوث رغم كل الظروف وأعتقد أن هذا أبرز درجة كبيرة من المرونة والمقاومة حتى هنا في تونس التقيت عديد الطلبة الليبيين وعديد الأساتذة الليبيين الذين فسروا لي كيف يواصلون دراستهم وعملهم وهو ما جعلني أنبهي أكثر وعلينا أن نرى أن نتطلع إلى مساهمة الجامعات الليبية كطرف نشيط في مشاريع الاتحاد الأوروبي وهناك عديد الأنشطة التجديدية التي تعمل على ربط الجامعة المؤسسات الاقتصادية ويهمنا أن نعرف أن هناك العديد من التقدم على المستوى التقني الذي أصبح ممكن ومن الواضح أن الجامعة تلعب دورا تحويليا في النمو النفسي والعقلي للشباب الليبي حتى يتقدم أكثر على جميع المستويات وأود أن تكون هناك أماكن للشباب ليعمل من اجل المستقبل الافضل لليبيا وفي الاتحاد الاوروبي فان التعليم العالي كما تعلمون يعتبر ركيزه اساسيه للتنميه الاقتصاديه والنموذج الاجتماعي الذي نصل اليه فهناك دور يتجاوز البحث والتعليم فهي مؤسسات التغيير الاجتماعي في مجتمعاتنا وبالعوده الى التقرير الليبي فان هذا التقرير يعتمد على عديد النماذج الاوروبيه في التعليم العالي وصاغ عددا من التوصيات والذي يطالب بتدويل الجامعات الليبيه و ومارتشيلو like منذ قليل واود ان اقول لكم اننا قادرون على تقديم الدعم لهذه التجربه ولهذه التعاون نحن منفتحون على التعاون مع الجامعات الليبيه ومع الطلبه الليبيين هناك عديد البرامج اسمس بلس و2020 وعديد برامج اخرى التي تفتح هذه الفرصه سوف لن اطيل الحديث وأود مرة أخرى أن أشكركم على الدعوة لحضور هذا العرض وأنا أتطلع كثيرا إلى نقاش إيجابي ومتحمس لتنطلق ليبيا من جديد في مجال التعاون في قطاع التعليم العالي شكرا جزيلا شكرا ساندرا For your contribution and again for the delegation on the work that you have done in Tunis, for the delegation of the delegation of the Tunis, I found again, as I said, a very considering the situation, of course, but in any case, a very genuine and interest to the work that we are doing in the situation of the university. You said right, the university play an important role in the. 
We found it also in the, the Erasmus uh, uh, national, in the national Erasmus officer. في من خلال أستاذ علي بكير المسؤول عن برامج إيراسموس اهتماما كبيرا بمدينة اليوم وأتمنى أن يكون الدكتور عبيد معنا وأود أن أعطي الكلمة إلى زميلنا مدير عام التعاون الدولي أستاذ سلطان سالم ثم الدكتور علي بكير لتقديم جلسة اليوم هل تسمعوني؟ Your microphone probably is mute now yes ربما الميكروفون غير مفتوح الرجاء فتح الميكروفون السلام عليكم هل تسمعنا الآن؟ Good morning do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Did you hear us here in Liverpool University? Yeah, you. Do you hear us? Yes. Do you hear me, Mr. Scalizzi? That's okay. That's okay. In the name of God. First of all, I would like to welcome all the colleagues. From the universities um, and from the and all the university that have joined us this morning, uh, namely the director of university within the minister of higher education. I would like uh, to uh, extend the acknowledgement and the uh, uh, gratitude of His Excellency the Minister of Education who is uh, expressing his wishes uh, for all of us of uh, full success in our proceedings so that we can uh, Design recommendations. The, the title of this uh, presentation is Library Start. It is about uh, the uh, higher education system and higher education curricula. There, um, he will be attending with us the next meeting that will be held on the 26th of June in Tripoli. I would like also to thank uh, Dr. Marcello Scalizzi and the members of his team who have uh, deployed great efforts so that this meeting is a reality. Although we, uh, this program has faced several uh, impediments and um, we were expected uh, to uh, overcome them in due time. And um, we uh, wish that uh, we could meet uh, Mr. Marcello Scalizzi in Tunis so that we can uh, uh, update and uh, 
upgrade these recommendations. The first meeting was expected to take place in 2018, but uh, for the reasons you know, it was uh, postponed to 2019. And unfortunately, for the second time, it was postponed due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And we agree that uh, we would meet once this uh, report is finalized. This uh, report is um, a decisive landmark in uh, the history of higher education uh, in Libya. So we are expecting the colleagues from uh, Libyan universities and the Ministry of Higher Education who have been uh, part of this report from its beginning to examine it uh, very cautiously so that we can uh, reach conclusions and uh, draw lessons So I would like to invite them all uh, to uh, focus on the recommendations. There are 13 items that uh, should be examined and uh, they deserve being examined. That covered the four axes. Uh, independence of uh, universities, good governance, uh, quality assurance, international cooperation within universities in general. So these are the four axes that are covered by the survey. So I would like to invite all the colleagues to examine them uh, um, in an accurate and uh, precise way. So I would like to uh, also welcome all the colleagues from uh, Libyan universities who uh, haven't been part of this survey, especially that uh, they are from uh, universities that have been uh, uh, established after the survey was launched. And um, they insisted to be with us today. And I hope that they will be very active in the uh, upcoming uh, steps and phases. I will give the floor to uh, my colleague, Dr. Ali. Who um, has been uh, following the uh, project from uh, its inception. Wish you full success and thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Sultan. Shukran, Hi, Ali. Salam alaikum. 
وعليكم السلام طبعا بدايه صباح الخير جميعا اتمنى ان يكون We can build bridges, of course, in order to have a positive cooperation. ممثلي وزارة التعليم في ليبيا وخاصة الذين أشرفوا على إنجاز هذا التقرير في مؤسسة اليونيميد قصف الذكر منهم السيد مارشيلو والفريق المصاحب له على العمل الجيد والإنجاز الزاهر الذي قاموا به سوري لست الفويس كان I can't hear it Can you hear me now? We can hear you, Dr. Ali. I think it's a problem related to Dr. Faituri. Okay, Tamar. I want to ask you, today we will be here in the meeting of the meeting of the meeting of the event regarding the report. من اليونيمن ثم نهتم ببعض الاضافات الكثيره من الاضافات بالتوصيات والتقنيات اليها هذا التقرير قبل ان اعطي مجال لزميلي التالي ان انوه ان ان مجال ما يسمى بالديجيتاليزيشن او هو الرقم في مجال التعليم العالي هو احد الأقطاب المهمة التي نأمل أن تجد اهتمام يصب في تطوير مؤسسات التعليم العالي في قطاع التعليم في ليبيا وأنوي أن هذا المجال يأتي بالتوازي مع أهم عناوين المشاريع التي يتوجه إليها برامج الدعم في وخاصة لليبيا بما يتعلق بمجال الطاقة والتحول الرقمي في قطاع التعليم العالي. شكرا لكم جزيلا وأتمنى التوفيق للجميع. Thank you, Ali, and uh, I have to say that uh, uh, I am in a sort of uh, daily connection with uh, Ali, uh, with Sultan. It's uh, always a pleasure to have this uh, such uh, uh, counterpart, very active and uh, able to, to uh, react uh, immediately to every... Uh, uh, indication from us, uh, and uh, it's, uh, I, I, as I said, it's really, it's really a pleasure to cooperate with such uh, such colleague. Okay, uh, I think that we can move now to our uh, contents, and I give now uh, the floor to Marco Di Donato and Martina Zipoli from uh, Unimed. Uh, team that will uh, go more in detail about the, the report that we've uh, 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 
ريكومنديشنز ونتناول ايضا الدرس التوصيات Yes. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I think. Thank you. I think you can hear me. Uh, and uh, so basically, now I'll share my screen. Uh, sorry, there is again the problem of that we didn't the interpreter. I don't know what's happening. Do you hear? Do you hear me? Yes, unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. yes. We listen. listen to me. Uh, what about now? What about now? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. I, you I, still I, hear me. We still yeah. hear you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should go again on the French channel, Sofiane, I guess. Because now we are... Yeah. Uh, I'm on French channel. Uh, uh, no. Uh, what well, well, Okay, okay. Try now, Marco. Yeah, I'm here. I don't need, you can hear me, I guess. Okay. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I still hear so kind of. For me, it is, it is uh, we can go ahead in any case. Or you can uh, go ahead, Marco, and then we will see if it is working. Because I don't know if it is كانت إذا ما صارت الأمور كما ينبغي أن لا أستمع إلى المترجم أنا أستمع إلى صوتي ولا أتصل إلى الترجمة شكرا جزيلا سأتقسم معكم الشاشة ولأتناول معكم بعض المسائل هذه هي الشاشة So thank you again very much for being إذن here. شكرا جزيلا على um, الحضور. سأخذ عشرين دقيقة استحبة زميلتي ليقدم لكم الظروف والنتائج التقرير. أرى عديد الزملاء والأصدقاء الذين نشتغل معهم خمس سنوات على مشاريع ايراسموس وحول عديد الانشطه التي تمكنا من انجازها معا بخصوص تخطيط التقرير وكما قال مديرنا هذا التقرير هو نتيجه مقاربة تشاركية وسأقدم صحبة مارتينا واشتغلنا في فريق استخدم عديد القدرات واشتغلنا حول الحوكمة والاستقلالية وأوضاع الجامعات الليبية استخدامي خبراتنا في مختلف المشاريع التي قمنا بها في السابق ثم استخدام خبرتنا لتحديد التعاون مع الجامعات الأوروبية ثم اشتغلنا معا على البرنامج وزميلتنا هنا لحديث عن التقرير بأكمل لقد ترون هنا الهيكلة هيكلة التقرير وهناك أيضا الترخيص التنفيذي الذي يلخص أهم النتائج للتحليل ثم هناك رسوم بيانية للجامعات الليبية المشاركة والتي حصلنا من لدنها على ملاحظات إيجابية وعلى ردود أفعال إيجابية ماذا عن الجانب المنهجي هي مسألة مسألة حيوية 
organized and how After this first step, ثم بعد هذه المرحلة الأولى أرسلنا دراسة واستبيانا قمنا بجمع هذه الاستبيانات ثم قمنا بمقابلات وخلال هذه المقابلات بحثنا عن الجانب الكمي لنتمكن من فهم وتعرف على الفرص المتاحة لنتمكن من مساعدة هذه الجامعات ولم تشارك جميع الجامعات في هذه المقابلات فتحدثنا عن مسار الإصلاحات وعلى الجانب الأمني وعلى المناج وهنا اكتشفنا وما فجأنا أن after 2011, the opportunity and the opportunity the وحصلنا على ملاحظاتهم ثم مرنا إلى المرحلة الأخيرة في تعديل هذا التقرير على ضوء الملاحظات التي وصلتنا من شركائنا وزملائنا الليبيين ثم بعد ذلك وانطلاقا من الاحصائيات قمنا معا بتحليل السوت تحت اشراف عديد الزملاء وقمنا بهذا التحليل نتعرف على نقاط القوة ونقاط الضعف والفرص السانحة والمخاطر التي تحف بمنظومة التعليم العالي في ليبيا فهذا هذا التحليل كان مرتبطا بشكل مباشر بالتوصيات ونرى في الخانة الخضراء نقاط القوة وأخذنا عديد الأمثلة وتحليل السوت كان ضروري لفهم المنظومة ومختلف هياكلها وهذا سيمكننا من سياحة التوصيات هذه نقاط القوة تصف المجالات التي يمتاز بها تمتاز بها منظومة التعليم العالي في ليبيا وما يجعل منها مجالات ونقاط قوة فريدة وذات قيمة ونعمل من خلال بناء قدرات جديدة في المنظومة الليبية وهناك عديد المشاريع الأخرى ورأينا كيف يمكن تغيير العقليات من قبل الزملاء الليبيين عبر تدعيم القدرات وكيف يقومون بذلك للتعرف على نقاط القوة والتي تمكن من الانخراط على المستوى العالمي فهكذا قمنا بتحديد هذه القدرات والعمل على تدعيم هذه القدرات من أجل مزيد دفع قدرة التعليم العالي وهذا رغم نقاط الضعف التي حددناها وتعرفنا عليها فنقاط الضعف تصف دائما العقبات التي تحول تحول دون أن تقوم المؤسسات 
بلعب دورها بشكل اقصى فمن ضمنها هي الموارد الماليه النادره والتغييرات المستمره في القياده ثم اجراءات الجوده والتصديق وكان علينا ان نراجع هنا العلاقات الموجوده بين الجامعات الليبيه والسلطه الليبيه وايضا علاقات الجامعه الليبيه على المستوى العالمي ويجب علينا ان نعمل على التدعيم ثم عرفنا ايضا على بعض المشاكل المتعلقه بعاده هيكله المؤسسات الجامعيه الليبيه اذا هناك ايضا نقاط قوه وضعف كبيرنا للحديث عن الفرص السانحه الفرص السانحه في الاطار الليبي حيث ان رغم المشاكل ورغم انقطاع التيار الكهربائي في ليبيا و عدم التواصل بين مختلف الاطراف الليبيه بان الجامعات الليبيه قامت بعمل جبار رغم الازمه التي راسها فرصه سانحه والجامعات تعتبر كطرفا حيويا ونشيطا في المجتمع قادر على تحديد التغيير الايجابي داخل المجتمع الليبي وبالطبع نمر الى المخاطر المخاطر تشير الى العوامل التي من شانها ان تضر بمنظومه التعليم العالي ومن بين هذه المخاطر وعدم الاستقرار السياسي على امتداد خمس سنوات وايضا الظروف الامنيه التي تحيط بالبلاد والان اعطي الكلمه الى زميلتي مارتينا زيبولي للحديث عن التوصيات المواليه ومارتينا هي جزء من الفريق منذ 16 عام واشتغلت كثيرا على التقرير الليبي و شاركت في عديد المشاريع التي مولدت حدود منذ سنه 14 و2000 وتشتغل وتتحدث بالانجليزيه ستتحدث اليكم لكن الكلمه معك. شكرا ماركو على اعطائك من الفور. اود لايك تو تيك ذيس تشانس تو ويلكم يو وانس مور اون بيهاف اوف ماي سيلف اند ذا هول اونيمت تيم. سو ايم جوين تو بريزنت يو ذا ريكومنديشن وي هاف ديفلوبت ثرو ذا ريبورت اند اود لايك تو سي ثرو هاور جيرني اناليسيس ذاتس ذا ديفينيشن وي تشوز فور ذيس ادفنتشر بيكوز وي ريلي فيل وي هاد ذا جيرني ثرو ذا ليبيان اي ايديوكيشن سيستم. افتر ذيس جيرني وي درافتر 13 ريكومنديشن which relate to the main areas of the analysis. As you can read, the governance and autonomy of the system, the quality assurance, the international cooperation, and the role of the university in the society. So this recommendation has been designed from the findings of our research, but mostly thanks to the conversation we had with the Libyan colleagues on the needs, on the needs of the higher education system. So it has been a collaborative work. Uh, we discussed with our Libyan counterparts and we attempt to start drawing the way forward for the development of the Libyan higher education system. Um, those recommendations, however, are not to be intended as written in the stone, but on the other side, they want to be just a starting point for reflection and for future development. And that's the reason why we are here today, to, together to discuss um, our recommendations and move forward together. So the main objective of the Libya Restart Analysis itself was to set the basis for cooperation between the universities, European universities and international universities. Um, uh, in fact, the recommendations are directed to Libyan University and the higher education system, uh, Libyan institutions and authorities, but as well to the European universities, as what was mentioned by our director, which deeply contributed to our work and want to contribute more to the European Union and the European Commission. But we also wanted to draw the attention of international stakeholders and international 
وكالات التعاون الاوروبيه so our limited time and because we want to leave space for the discussion and the dialogue we are going to present five over the 13 recommendations developed so first of all we would like to talk about the governance system of the Libyan higher education institution and as some of you may know, and as our directors mentioned several times, UNIMED is carrying on a regional initiative in the South Mediterranean region on university governance through several cooperation projects uh, in Tunisia, Algeria, Iraq, Palestine. So our recommendation comes from the findings of the analysis, but also is framed in the wider commitment of UNIMED in the region on university governance um, and wants to uh, build on the experience that we have gained so far. So the first recommendation reads development of an effective and tailored university governance system through a version system. So we believe that universities in Libya have the opportunity to develop a specific and effective governance system, meaning improving their university leadership and management and in turn, in, um, uh, improving in the definition of their mission and goals, and how can we facilitate the process? So Libyan University can start from the experience of European counterparts and from other Southern Mediterranean universities, which can share their experience and their practices upon which Libyan University can design their governance system. So during our research, we have actually found that the university, that the university feel quite autonomous in defining their mission and goals. But what they lack is to rely on a comprehensive strategy at the national level. So what we suggest is, if we may say so, suggest, is to um, uh, work together with the Ministry of Education and define a comprehensive strategy that which um, in turn guide the university to the definition of their institutional strategic plan. Um, this uh, in turn, a good governance system in turn impact on university autonomy. Academic autonomy is perceived by university to be relatively low. So having a well-functioning governance system in terms means to develop higher academic autonomy, being able to modernize teaching and learning practices, and advance in um, adapting teaching and pedagogical approaches through innovative practices. So this is what is happening in most of the European universities, in most of the Mediterranean countries, and this seems to be the road ahead. And of course, the modernization of pedagogical practices is strictly related not only to the management and leadership of universities, but the whole governance means also advancing in quality performance of the institution. So the two first recommendations are strictly related to each other, and what we uh, want to highlight is the importance of strengthening quality and performance and evaluation offices at the university. So, university should rely on a shared quality culture and to effective and strong quality and performance relations. We have learned that Almost every university has a quality and performance evaluation office. They should have, uh, but most of them were, at the time of our research, not fully operative, in, both in terms of recognition by the academic community and in terms of resources. So what we um, understood is that to, those offices need to become a reference point to disseminate quality insurance practices um, throughout all the aspects of a university 
ممارسة uh, functions ممارسة so from the management to the administration to the teaching and learning aspects uh, of uh, uh, the higher education institutions. Uh, so through uh, this, guided by this uh, reinforced quality and performance evaluation of this, universities are able to comply with the highest international quality standards um, and in turn um, improve uh, both uh, university uh, leadership on one side the, and the quality uh, of the education provided on the other side. In um, I take this occasion to say that when we, at the time of our research, we didn't have the chance to directly talk to the National Center for Quality Assurance in India. I see there with us today, thank you for that, so we'll, we'll be more than happy to keep dialoguing with them and um, in the near future of further discuss our findings and our validate the results. Uh, what we deem very important is that the National Office cooperates uh, strictly with all the centers at the universities and the centers to talk with each other, as it happens for the International Relations Offices. We have learned that International Relations Offices keep working together, keep talking constantly for the advancement of the whole system, and we aim for the quality insurance offices to do the same. Probably they already do, um, but at the time of our research, uh, we couldn't really go too deep in that. Um, so we'll be happy to talk with both the offices at the university and the national center and funds in this aspect. So I mentioned the international relations offices, and when it comes to international cooperation, our main recommendation would be to strengthen university exposure and performance at the international level. So it goes without saying that international cooperation, mobility, exchange, and exposure at the national level generate positive impact on university performance. This is what we have learned in years of cooperation through the Unimed activities. This is what we have learned in those years working on the Libya Restart Report. So the impact is positive on universities, on the staff working at the university, on graduates, performance and employability and on the university research activities, enhancing their capacity to produce a change. This is particularly true if we think about sectors such as medicine and health. This was true even before the pandemic, but it's even more nowadays. And this is not a case that our leading colleagues on several occasions asked for cooperation projects in this, in, in research fields and specifically in sectors such as health and cooperation and uh, sorry, medicine, just to mention some. Um, what we've learned is that despite there are some universities which are highly involved in international cooperation initiatives, there are still some which have little international exposure, and this may limit their possibility of improving through cooperation. And in this sense, the European Union can really make a difference, providing Libyan University with opportunities for capacity building, for mobility, and for networking. That's what has been mentioned by our director at the beginning, cooperation project, where resource was where a resource for Libyan University and are already generating great impact in terms of advancement of the system. So um, we, we also uh, so that it's not a case that most of existing international agreements the Libyan universities have with international and European universities have been favored by the joint participation in European funding project over the past 10 years, as it happened with the cooperation between UNIMED and the Libyan University over the past years. So now we go to the last uh, issue touched by our report that is the role of the university in the society at large, and I give back the word to Marco. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martina. Uh, and we are uh, Martina. also, I'll try to be brief in order to do the full discussion. Um, but, uh, two main points before we the recommendation number 12 uh, is showing us that 
الأرقام تقول لنا أن في بعض الجامعات الجامعات الليبية إذا هناك استعداد للتعليم وكذلك لكي طبعا نحسن كل ما هو أجندة تابعة للبحث الجامعات الليبية هي تقوم أكثر بعملية التعليم أكثر منها بالنسبة للبحث إذا هناك الكثير من المشاريع الجديدة التي يمكن تطويرها مستقبلا وهناك طلبات من زملائنا الليبيين لكي ننتقل ونركز اكثر على البحث وفي في الماضي كان كان التعاون يقتصر على التعليم فقط الان المنظومه الليبيه اذا محدوده وهي محدوده لان الوضعية الحالية تمنع نوعا ما تعرقل البحث في الجامعات الليبية لهذا السبب تحدثنا مع زملائنا الليبيين حول هذا الموضوع وكيف يمكن أن نطور منظومة البحث على مستوى الجامعات الليبية لأن هناك طبعا فرص يجب علينا استغلالها والتعليم العالي يمكن له أن يوفر هذه الفرص لكن يجب علينا أن نحسن الإدارة إذا التوصية رقم تسعة تتحدث عن الطلبات التي أتتنا من زملائنا الليبيين في هذا المجال هنا لدينا الخط الأحمر ولدينا مئة بالمئة من المستجوبين المستجوبين أن البحث بالنسبة لهم يمثل عنصر مهم جدا لكن هناك صعوبات على هذا المستوى لأن هناك طبعا نقص على مستوى المعلومات إذا هنا يجب هذا العنصر يمثل أولوية الآن عنصر طبعا البحث وأن نحن متأكدون أنه يجب ويمكن لنا أن نستغل هذه الوضعية وكذلك نحاول نحصل في هذا المجال وكذلك طبعا الجامعات الليبيه ويمكن لنا كذلك ان تكون لدينا تطورات يمكن لنا احداثها على مستوى المناطق الليبيه وكذلك رغم كل الصعوبات ويجب علينا ان نتعاون مع المتداخلين وهذا وهذا يمثل مشكله الى حد الان في سبب الوضعية على أولي حال طبعا التعاون بين الجامعات الليبية يمثل عنصرا مهما جدا وكذلك تحدثنا عن أهمية خلال هذه الأزمة الجامعات الليبية كانت المؤسسات التي كان يمكن الاعتماد عليها أكثر من أي مؤسسة في ليبيا رغم الظروف التي توجد في ليبيا إذا لديها قدرة على الصمود وكذلك على التعاقلم مع الوضعية وهي بهذه الطريقة قادرة على خدمة المجتمع الليبي وكذلك تحقيق النمو الاقتصادي لليبيا رغم كل الصعوبات التي تمر بها ليبيا اذا الجامعات يتم اعتبارها كفرصه يمكن استغلالها مستقبل ليبيا لهذا السبب طبعا بعد 2011 طبعا الجامعات الليبيه عملت عمل جيد الى حد الان كما قلت من قبل هذه الفرصه يجب علينا استغلالها مستقبلا و هذا هو الشيء الذي اردت ان اعبر عليه حتى الان اريد ان اشكركم جميعا على تواجدكم في هذه الندوه واشكر كل المتداخلين ومع هذا الامر الشكر جزيلا لكم جميعا وعلى Thank you Marco, grazie mille for this presentation. Thank you Martina, you were perfectly on time. We are in the day, but because we started in the day, but you were perfectly on time. 
now we have some contributions that we received at the beginning. Uh, and also the first of intervention. I give now first the talk my friend and colleague, the director of the University of Nabil, and then we have some contribution from the Libyan International Medical Universities, then El Merlin University, then El Asmaria University, and also the University of Misurata is the to make an intervention. I kind of remind all of you that after this contribution that we sent in this last day, Please write you on the chat to make the intervention and we will follow your request. I can't ask you to be not free, but I can trade you to speak as much as possible to the participants that are in the process. In the last, very last point, I remind you that the data that we collected and that we collected is coming from you. If there is something that we need to update after two years, of course, and I'm sure that we have a lot of data that must be updated. We will do it all together to try to support of the 2.0 version of this issue. Please, Nabil, the floor is yours. Thank you, Marcelo. At the beginning, I would like to welcome my colleagues, uh, deans and professors from Libyan universities, and the uh, officials from International Cooperation Directorate, I would like to thank the Director General of the International Cooperation Department. And the Delegate of the University of the Department of Universities, Dr. Musbah. At the beginning, I would like to thank the Mediterranean Universities and the Director General Dr. Marcello Scalizzi and his team within UNIMED who did their best to give us this excellent report on uh, Libyan higher education which is um, the cornerstone of the Minister of High Education and of decision makers in Libya. And so that this report would be a roadmap so that we move ahead. And which allows us to identify strengths and weaknesses the uh, recommendations uh, uh, within the report, which are 13, are being discussed, but but have never been uh, designed uh, in the same way as it is in this report. I would like to thank uh, all universities in Libya, in, e in the East and in the West, and in the South. These universities, these Libyan university proved their independence and their autonomy despite the, the circumstances we are going through. We look forward to the future positively. And uh, we hope we uh, have a uh, fruitful and positive cooperation with the international community. 
And I believe there are opportunities to improve the Libyan higher education system so that we serve our community and that uh, we can uh, contribute to international and to the human knowledge. I would like to remind you that in the University of Tripoli, despite these circumstances and these hardships, we succeeded in decoding the uh, DNA segment of the uh, coronavirus with Libyan tools. We only need further support. We have a great deal of expertise and the Libyan academic uh, community is extremely strong. And this strength uh, uh, comes from the diversity of the uh, various academic and research schools worldwide in uh, the US, in Asia, and in Europe. And uh, therefore, we believe that uh, there is a fertile background to upgrade and uh, improve the higher education system. And uh, we wish full success to all stakeholders. Thank you for your kind attention. Yeah, Nabil, thank you very much. Shukran, Dr. Nabil. Shukran, Jazilan. Now I leave Sylvia and Ati and Sylvia the idara al niqash wa al idara. Thank you so much, Marcello, and of course, thank you very much to our friend, the president of the University of Tripoli, for his contribution. Now we would like to open the floor and we will start with the contribution we received from Libyan University, starting from the from Libyan International Medical University, from Dr. Salma Mustawa, Head of International Cooperation Office. Uh, Dr. Salma, if you'd like to take the floor, and I can ask my colleague Jenny to share also the, the slide presentation. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Salma, we don't hear you. Dr. Salma, we are not listening to you. Probably the microphone. Probably the microphone is closed. Now it's perfect. Now you can hear me? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. We are not listening to you, Sayyidati. Thank you. Yes, great. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank all the people. I would like to thank all the people. Uh, actually interesting and well prepared report and I would like to this opportunity uh, to give a very short time. Uh, just I want to stress on a few points. Yes, uh, before start I'll just say my name, it's Salma. Anna is me Salwa Salma Bhatwa Yes. Now uh, we should. Be... Yes. Uh, okay. Now we should Okay. I I don't know if you can if you can hear me. الآن يصلنا الصوت بشكل أفضل. Yes, we hear you well, Salma. Okay. I have only two slides. لدي شريحتين فقط. I want to comment on the yes, on both academic and financial uh, autonomy. Just I want to, to 
about it because I would like to take the opportunity of the present together with us today. On the fact that uh, this, uh, the academic and financial autonomy are the main change at the level I didn't move to the second slide please Just yeah. Just one second uh, Dr. Salma because we uh, had the problem of before because Sofia and Salma. we hear you your translation uh, <laughs> Man Salma is talking so maybe it's the problem of China I'm just yeah. trying to say that I would wanna cool important at the level of management, policies, policies, innovations, new courses, teaching methodologies, and digital tools. And I believe that everyone realized the importance of the uh, ability of any institution at all these levels when we were exposed yes higher education institutions find themselves that they need to move to new teaching methodologies. Yes. Use digital tools, uh, need new policies. All of these drivers of change cannot happen without فنحن بحاجة إلى سياسات جديدة وهذه السياسات السياسات الجديدة من شأنها أن تحدث التغيير. Yes. So the presence or the increased academic and financial autonomy is very critical and realized through that problem of COVID-19 that the universities who had autonomy at both academic and financial levels, they uh, moved to solve their problems. So mm -hmm. that was obvious. Now I will move to the second slide. I don't know if they can uh, share it again or give me the uh, option to share the second slide. Yes. Uh, moving to the second slide, I will open it from here. Uh, I'm talking about the expansion um, of the uh, geographical scope of international cooperation at universities. And this is actually a very important point. Yes, if everyone notice, you'll find that, or search, uh, you'll find that only large universities. Uh, Yes, has got a large uh, number of uh, experience. Okay, so uh, usually small universities and the yes, they they don't uh, you know they don't have the opportunity for in a good way. Okay. And, and got enough cooperation. And I, think, yes, and I think here, Erasmus offer, and also to the communication between different Yes, I think the communication between need to get another shape at least يجب أن يأخذ شكل آخر على الأقل you know separate from any political or other على المستوى الأكاديمي وأن يتم الفصل بين المستوى الأكاديمي والمستوى السياسي those are the two main ideas and comments I would like to mention regarding the أضيف 
recommendations and thank you a lot for the أن هذه المداخلة تتعلق بالتوصيات وأشكركم على الانتباه. Thank you very much, Dr. Salma. It was very interesting to hear your contribution from your experience in your university. We would like now to give the floor to the Director of the International Relations. Sorry. Yes. Can I ask Sofian again, if you have to switch the channel, please, because it's very difficult because we listen, we listen both. It's very complicated to try to understand the Because, uh, Please, Sofiane, if we could come back to the previous yep. mm, now. Yeah. We are, we are, uh, Mr. Dr. Scalizzi, uh, I'm translating through the French channel. Well, I'm not... I don't know what is the, what's happened, but this time, the, the intervention of Salva, we listen both languages, which is not bad for my uh, Arabic learning process, but it's <laughs> very, very complicated one. You have to try to understand as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, um, uh, ourselves uh, here in, in Tunis, we are been, uh, facing uh, huge problems to uh, get the sound from uh, Tripoli. And uh, I see, uh, I see the point. We are doing uh, our I best. I fully understand your, your difficulties, of course. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, this is. Uh, so, but please, if you could come back as in the previous format, because in the first yeah. part of the session, we, everything was. Yeah, I, I didn't touch any, any single button. Okay. I am sticking to the French channel. Okay. Maybe there is a uh, technical problem. Very this true. is why you have this interference okay. with both mm -hmm. languages. Uh, yeah. Mr. Uh, Donato, Di Donato, um, do you hear both languages or uh, only the English one? Marco. Marco, do you hear me? No, he's not hearing the, uh, yeah. the, uh, the translation. Sure. Do you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you, but if I mute, it's, uh, it's fine at the moment. Now it's, it's back to, the, to, to normal. Okay. Yeah. No, it's, but if we mute, if you are on the English language and you mute the original audio, you can hear only the English version. No, I'm, I'm, I'm working on the French channel only. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there, there's a reason why, and some, sometimes, or Zoom, or uh, for some reason, we hear both of you, and yeah. one way channel is coming back. So yeah. it's, it's working as a two way channel. But now, yeah, that's right, yeah. I cannot hear you. I can just. Okay. 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 Please. Thank you. Yeah, Let's try to go right. ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So I will give now the floor to the Rector of International okay. Relations okay. Office okay. Okay. Uh, from okay. Maritib okay. University, Dr. Mohamed El Rawani. Mohamed El Rawani. Please, Dr. El Rawani, you are with us. Yes. Dr. El Rawani, how are you listening to the yes, floor is me. yours, but we already we continue to hear also the translation, the both voices. Yes. You hear me? Yes, we hear um, you, Dr. Mohammed, but there is still the problem from before that we can, can, can continue to hear you on the translation voices. And do you still um, hear the English version? Do you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, and uh, uh, my name is Dr. Mohamed Arawemi from uh, the Director of International Cooperation Office. Hello. Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for uh, inviting us to attend this it's really a great uh, opportunity to meet you. And I hope uh, we will have a discussion. And I hope we will have a discussion about uh, the uh, I will not take a long time. However, however, after looking at the uh, recommendation at the end of the report, I have uh, comments about the point uh, number uh, which uh, about the European universities and the European 
الجامعات الأوروبية والمنظومة الأوروبية للتعليم العالي which I think the Libyan University is for future actions أن الجامعات الليبية منفتحة على التعاون أكثر في المستقبل I do think that the this discussion about this recommendation أنا أن النقاش حول هذه التوصيات هام جدا can share experience and لأنه يمكننا من تبادل التجارب on how to manage أو لا إدارة تقنيات التدريس الجديدة والمتجددة and assessment methodologies وأيضا إدارة منهجيات التقييم also renewing and courses and programs and also the capacity building projects and how also can be developed for the benefit of academic staff and the Libyan higher education institutions Hello? Yes, go ahead. Okay, but uh, the, uh, the question here remains is how, how this can be really implemented? And, uh, how can you do it? And also, how this uh, experience can be uh, shared and uh, and and uh, I hope to get uh, an answer from uh, uh, Marco. Marco. Uh, thank you so much for that. Shukran jazeelan. Thank you very much, Dr. Rawani, for, for your intervention and for sharing your, uh, your points and your main issues on the recommendation. Of course, we will first to try to conclude uh, the possibility to present the recommendation from other universities and then we will open the floor for questions and so for the debate. Now, uh, the question of Alaz Maria uh, Islamic University, and uh, I would like to give the floor to Dr. Saleh Ahmed Ben Khayyad, Director of International Relations Office for Amal Maria Islamic University. Dr. Ben Khayyad, the floor is yours. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. I am Saleh Ahmed Ben Khayyad. Ahmed Saleh Ben Khayyad. Director of International Cooperation Office. Al Asmaria Islamic University, a Grameen AIU, locating in Zlitan, city center, 160 kilometers east of Tripoli. First of all, I would like to thank all, all the presents, including the unit Unimed, mm -hmm. project leaders, and the project partners through this online meeting to participate in this event. I would like to remind you that it is, it is first time for us, for the University of Al-Asmaria, to participate uh, this meeting uh, for this project leaders. في هذا yes. المشروع. And uh, thanks a lot to uh, Mr. Uh, Marcelo Scalisi and uh, Mr. Marco for their uh, patience with us uh, since we were contacting with them since 19, since 2018 and uh, 2019. <coughs> so I would like to thank them. Uh, على هذا الصبر وهذا التعاون. Yes. Uh, it's obviously known that uh, Libya has been, 
suffering for decades from weakness in the field of education standards pathologists. As well as the state lack of interest in statistics and funding, yes. And most of the graduates have gone to التعليم العالي توجهوا نحو التدريس عوضا عن البحث العلمي وأغلب البحوث مدونة نظرا لغياب المختبرات والتجهيزات من بينها البنية التحتية In addition to low funding, the state, which led to brain drain, الذي أدى إلى هجرة الأدمرة إلى الخارج. We are very happy when we have you. ونحن سعداء عندما استمعنا إلى أنكم ستواصلون تنظيم ندوة عبر الإنترنت في إطار مشروع إعادة إطلاق ليبيا. To support higher education and integration systems for Libyan universities, including the Asmaria. Our recommendation is and needs as to the following. Yes, number one. Support universities with laboratories related to scientific research in the field of medicine, engineering, science, and energy. Yes. Support university with conferences and giving lectures remotely. Connect the university with the library, with the central library, to the international universities electronically, to facilitate the process for the process for searching, viewing, copying, and other. Support the university language center with the equipment and communication tools needed to the language lab for the approval in conducting the international exam. Support the faculty of information technology with the advanced devices and equipment. من خلال توفير الحاجات التكنولوجية والأليات التكنولوجية المتطورة التي تحتاجها الجامعة والكلية. Support distinguished students, talents, and innovators, and develop their scientific research and technical progress. تشجيع الطلبة المتميزين من خلال تدعيم تقديم الدعم لمزيد تطوير مهاراتهم. Hold the training courses. For faculty members in languages, computers, and the internet. التدريب لفائدة الإطار التعليمي والتدريسي في مجال اللغات وغيرها. Hold training courses for university employees to raise their efficiency and improve their work performance. التدريب لفائدة الإطار العام بالجامعات ل. تأهيل وتحسين قدراتهم المهنية. Thank you so much, and we are. شكرا جزيلا. Looking forward to. ونتطلع. To succeed in our project. لإنجاح هذا المشروع. Thank you very much. حتى نصل إلى مبتغانا. شكرا جزيلا. Thank you very much, Doctor. شكرا جزيلا. But before to continue our discussion, what we should solve the technical issue regarding the presentation because it's hard for us to follow you. المشكلة التقنية لأنه من الصعب لنا أن نتواصل معكم ونستمع إليكم. Sofiane, can you see the problem? Sofiane, sorry. Sofiane is coming to settle this issue. Yes, because we were seeing that you are not on interpretation channel, but on original audio. So that's probably why we uh, we hear both languages simultaneously. And hi, Sylvia. This is Sofian right now. Yes, hi, Sofian. How are we... you? I'm fine, thank you. Can, can yeah. we solve, Can we try to solve this technical issue regarding interpretation? Yeah, sure. 
sure. because it's very hard for us to follow the discussion. And okay, so um, actually, actually, we are uh, on the the English channel. Okay. So. So let me just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to put it in again right now. Is do you think now it's uh, it's better right now? Uh, now I hear only your voice. You, you, you only hear my voice, okay. Um, try to talk, try to translate and try to see if we are listening to you or just if we are, it's okay. Are you translating, Sofian, what uh, our director said at this moment, or no? Hello? Can we do another trial to see if everything is working with the interpretation? Otherwise, if you want, we can leave the, we can leave the, the meeting, and uh, if you can invite us again, we're going to try to to connect uh, with a new session on the on the conference maybe it's, it's, it should uh, settle the situation hello hello yes can you hear me? yeah marcelo so can I just propose it to go out of the room or the virtual room and then come back yeah to see if this is a technical issue with they with their Laptop. And then in the meanwhile, we can proceed with our discussion in English. Also, because I guess that most of our colleagues and friends are uh, totally able to interact in English. And uh, and in the meanwhile, we try to solve it. If you agree, we can go ahead. Well, it's up to you. Uh, I'm the interpreter. I'm not so okay. No, no, I'm not the okay. director. Okay. Okay, it seems that probably now could work. Try again and then eventually we stop mm -hmm. the way we don't have to solve the problem. Okay, Silvia, please. Yes, uh, so I thank ev uh, everyone the, for our four um, interventions from our four universities. Now I believe that there is Ms. Rata University who would like to intervene. Uh, I don't know who is uh, speaking from Ms. Rata University, so I can yeah. invite colleagues from Misurata University to unmute the mic to, to take the floor. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Mohamed Sawalim, Vice President of Misurata University. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yeah. I, I think we solved uh, the problem. Yeah. Hello, do you hear me? Yes. Now it's okay. Is it okay? Oh, do, yes. do, do, do you hear both voices? No, now we only yeah. hear the, the voice from Misurata colleague. So okay, that's all right. If you are translating, we don't hear you. So I think okay. it's resolved. Okay. <laughs> Please, Dr. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. بداية أشكر كل القائمين على هذا المؤتمر وأرحب بالسادة الزملاء في الجامعات الليبية وكذلك أتقدم الشكر للسادة في اليونيميد سيد مارشيلو وماركو وكل الزملاء في اليونيميد طبعا يعني بعد اطلاعنا على التقرير المرفق لدينا بعض الملاحظات كما أشار السيد مارشيلو أن هناك بعض التحديثات التي ستحدث من بعض الجامعات الحقيقة في الصفحة رقم 40 و 41 ذكرت بعض الإحصائيات فيما يخص الجامعات Sorry, I have, I have to stop because unfortunately the voice of the interpreter is very low or uh, I don't know if there is any internet connection problem or if please if you could um, speak more uh, with a stronger voice with stronger tone and we try but the translation now it's working very well but as channel but the voice is very low please 
try to solve. Please, Dr. Mohammed, go ahead. Yes, try to go okay, ahead. thank you. هناك بعض الأحصائيات فيما يخص الأحصائيات للجامعات الليبية في في الصفحات أربعين وواحد وأربعين. هناك بعض الأحصائيات الغير دقيقة وس وسنوفيكم إن شاء الله بالتحديث الذي لدينا إن شاء الله. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, but there is some connection problem. Can I ask Dr. Mohammed, if possible, to talk directly in English? Because the voice is, uh, there is some connection problem, if you can, or to talk in Arabic and eventually uh, suggest to the interpreter to go in uh, simultaneously in consecutive interpretation. And, but consecutive, not parallel, please, consecutive. It's better to have consecutive, yeah. Yes, but so, not parallel, because otherwise we don't understand nothing. Okay. I can't uh, ask Dr. Uh, Mohammed. Senator, uh, give it the time, time by time to the interpreter yes. to translate. Okay, okay. that's okay. Please. بما يخص ملاحظاتنا حول ال ال recommendations المرفقة. As our our feedback on the attached recommendation. نتفق تماما مع جاء في توصية التقرير. We agree. We totally agree with. One recommendation included in the report about uh, uh, providing or granting autonomy to universities. And uh, we insist on the necessity that the autonomy be be in designing programs and uh, projects related to the future of higher education. This requires we review some laws and decrees في ليبيا. in Libya which regulate higher education. So that we facilitate this process without falling into red tape practices. The second issue والتي كان كان يجدر بالتقرير أن يضعها that should have been introduced by the report هو دعم is الاتفاقيات الاتفاقيات المحلية بين الجامعات والمؤسسات الليبية فيما بينها is about uh, bringing support to local conventions between Libyan institutions وذلك لوضع الخطط والبرامج so that we uh, design and set up programs and projects في مجالات الإشراف in the field of uh, management على البرامج التعليمية in the field of uh, supervising and managing uh, higher education curricula وتبادل الخبرات and the exchange of expertise والارتقاء بمستوى and to promote أداء الجامعات the performance of Libyan University وخاصة and especially الجامعات الصغيرة منها والخاصة small and private universities ملاحظتنا الثالثة our third feedback فيما يخص الموارد الاقتصادية المستقلة للجامعات is about university independent independent financial resources ننصح we uh, recommend بدعم وضع مقترحات to submit proposals للاستفادة so that we benefit من مراكز البحوث from research centers وتطوير الأبحاث and to develop researches وتقديم الاستشارات and to 
grant uh, uh, consultations and uh, advices وعقد الشراكات and uh, to set up partnerships مع القطاعات الصناعية والخدمية with the industrial and service sectors وذلك through بخل بخلق آلية لتوزيع الموارد designing uh, a mechanism to share resources بحيث تستفيد الجامعة أو المؤسسة ومنتسبيها so that uh, the university or the institution and its members may profit جامعة مصرات الآن the university of مصرات على سبيل المثال as an example بصدد وضع مقترح is drafting a proposal لتقديمه للوزارة to uh, the university to the ministry لتوزيع جباية الرسوم الخدمية to uh, share the fees of services التي تقدمها الجامعة that is uh, that are uh, granted by your university يعني على سبيل المثال مراكز البحوث ومراكز اللغات for example uh, here we mention uh, research centers Uh, language centers and laboratories والاستشارات التي تقدمها للشركات and uh, the uh, consultations granted to uh, companies العامة والخاصة I mean here private and state-owned companies كذلك الرسوم الدراسية للدراسات العليا وغيرها and uh, also uh, fees for uh, higher education registration and other fees. الملاحظة الأخرى في صفحة 75 There is another remark on page 75 وهي تعزيز الأهمية الاجتماعية للجامعات It's about strengthening the social responsibility of universities بالتعاون مع الفاعلين المحليين in cooperation with local stakeholders أقترح I suggest here إضافة نقطة أن يكون للجامعات which is as follows universities خطط لمواكبة مخرجاتها will have plans to monitor its outputs مع متطلبات سوق العمل so that they are in tune and they match labor market والتي تتغير باستمرار. This labor market is uh, uh, going through everlasting changes. وهذا يتطلب. This does require. تغيير وتطوير. Changing and developing. كل البرامج وأقسام الجامعة باستمرار. University curricula and university departments regularly. لتتماشى مع متطلبات سوق العمل. So that they match the labor market. وذلك للمساعدة to help في دفع النمو الاقتصادي للبلد. To help push forward the economic development of Libya. وتوفير فرص عمل لخريجين الجامعات. And generate job opportunities for university graduates. والانخراط في التنمية المستقبلية. So that they get involved in the future development of the country. وهذا يتطلب. This will require. من الوزارة. From the ministry. مراجعة بعض التشريعات واللوائح. To review its legislation and decree. التي تحدد وضع. Which determine. ااا آلية روتينية معقدة. Which. Uh, are behind a uh, complex and complicated uh, لفتح, لفتح أي برامج أو أقسام جديدة. that uh, prevent the opening or the review of uh, university curricula or the opening of new departments. This is in a nutshell some of our observations. ويمكن أن نرسلها لكم أو لل, للمسؤولين على التقرير uh, بإيميل يعني خاص and uh, I may forward them through an email uh, very soon شكرا للجميع وبارك الله فيكم thank you very much for your kind attention
Thank you, dear Mohamed. Uh, and I hope that soon also Mizorat University will join us in the network. Inshallah. Uh, please, but uh, Sylvia, are you going to continue to moderate? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, we have, in any case, now <laughs> Dr. Ramadan from International Relations <laughs> Office uh, from Libyan Open University <laughs> who asked to intervene. And then we already registered other um, other um, uh, other university would like to intervene. So we will give first the floor to Dr. Ramadan from Libya Uni Open University. Dr. Ramadan, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dr. Ramadan, the head of International uh, Cooperation Office for Libyan Open University. As I go through the uh, report, I find that uh, there is no mention regarding the open uh, education in Libya. And we have a specialized uh, university, it is a government university, uh, dedicated for uh, virtual education, for all kinds of uh, education either e-learning or uh, online or virtual education with different ways. And we have uh, around 36 branches and centers around the country of Libya in different uh, uh, area. And uh, we need uh, your help because we are going now for doing uh, a platform and it's already almost is finished, this platform for uh, e-learning. And we need some help in this project. If, if it is good opportunity to take it, to join uh, European uh, higher education, e-learning and opening sources for this, uh, for, to help our university to realize this uh, just if I if I may, Sylvia, uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Ramadan. Uh, in, in on this issue of e-learning and open education resources, uh, it's now the the right momentum because uh, after, during the COVID-19, everything is moving online. And I have to say both sides, not only in Southern Mediterranean, but also in the European side. And the universities are astonished about how to manage it from one way to another. And uh, we will totally, obviously, uh, with you to support your initiative and to support you this governmental uh, initiative. And I will send you the, the information that uh, uh, we could share on uh, uh, what UNIMED is doing on e-learning and open education resources through the UNIMED sub-network on e-learning that we are yeah. managing. Yes, Marco, especially concentrate on the uh, accreditation, accreditation and the quality assurance for uh, open education because so many centers, they haven't any organization like that. Yeah, which is the big challenge. <laughs> yes, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramadan. Uh, now, following the request of uh, intervening, we would like to give the floor to al Azdabia University colleagues. So, please, uh, colleagues from al Azdabia University, take the floor. Thank you very much. Hello, are, are you with us? Yeah, we don't. Probably the, the micro is mute. Or they are not anymore connected for con connection issues. I don't know. Al Ajdabia University? Okay, waiting for al Dabia, probably there is a, some connection issue. We would like to pass to uh, the colleague from Bani Walid University, uh, Dr. Al-Fituri. Dr. Al-Fituri, uh, would you like to intervene or to submit any questions? Yes, Yes, we hear you, yeah. 
اوكي افتر منشنينج الله from the Ministry of Education and other I've read the Dari Board thoroughly and uh, I agree, uh, as Ben Wilid University agree, uh, to all its uh, recommendations, but we uh, emphasize the uh, recommendations made by uh, uh, our colleague in the medical uh, Libyan University of Salem and uh, uh, recommendation made by uh, our colleagues in uh, uh, Maria and uh, uh, as Benny Walid University uh, since since March uh, since uh, the Minister of Education uh, decided to uh, stop. Uh, uh, activities in the uh, uh, we tried our best uh, not to stop, uh, and uh, we tried to uh, continue uh, uh, online so uh, here as, uh, director of the information center in the university I did I designed the uh, questionnaire uh, delivered to the university website to all uh, teaching staff and the students to, to know uh, how they, uh, they were to, to continue uh, uh, studying uh, I've received uh, a lot of responses uh, all of them actually uh, uh, strongly agree and will come online uh, learning. But uh, the problem is in uh, University that we lacked the uh, uh, basic uh, infrastructure of, uh, of uh, internet. Uh, and communication. I mean, this is uh, fixed strongly with the, with the events, uh, uh, recent events in the west of uh, of Libya, as we are really to 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 Tarhuna. Uh, but even before that, we lack to the structure. We very, very we have very uh, bad uh, uh, communication here in in in, in, in Bali Walid. Uh, very very slow internet. Uh, now uh, there is there is no power. The electricity is off. Uh, I strongly try to, to uh, not to uh, to miss this uh, uh, webinar uh, with using the the, uh, the university uh, generator with lacks of uh, even the the fuel uh, the fuel. So uh, we we, uh, we we agree all to, to all the recommendations, and we emphasize uh, supporting Libyan universities with the basic infrastructure of the uh, communication uh, services. I mean the uh, internet services uh, represented by all its uh, uh, needs. Uh, I'll try not to take long time. I'd like to uh, thank you again. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Marco for uh, for uh, for its uh, uh, analysis, and I'd like to emphasize uh, its points about supporting the uh, the research and source solving the problem of the lack of the teaching staff to the time and the time scales to uh, continue uh, uh, research activities. Uh, thank you again all. Thanks, Thanks, Mr. Jala. Uh, I have uh, let me let me do my my job as director of UNIMED. Uh, it's very difficult to manage uh, 
such translation process, considering that we listen both, uh, we will try to fix this problem for the next conference, the 24 of June. I remember you, the 24th of June. But I can't re ask the interpreter, please stop the interpretation once people is speaking in English. Just provide consecutive interpretation if someone is going to talk in Arabic language. Because I suppose that all of us could understand each other I'm sure that you will understand very well my Italian English and uh, you don't need to be translation into Arabic. But I can't please interpreters to stop the translation once speaker is speaking in English. If someone is going to speak in Arabic, translators will provide a consecutive I hope that it works for you and we will surely able to manage such problem for the 24th. Okay, now stop the interpretation and then we move. Stop. Okay. Thank you. Silvia, please. Yes, we can go on. So thank you very much also for Dr. Jalal Fituri, for Bani Walid, for his intervention, his comment on the report. Uh, we would like to continue to give the possibility also to, to all of you to intervene. Uh, so we can ask uh, uh, our former president, uh, Professor Wail Benjeloun, uh, to intervene. Professor Benjeloun. Thank you, Silvia. <laughs> Uh, it's been a very interesting morning. Uh, I think what comes to mind, uh, what is impressive, is the resilience of the Libyan university system, uh, given the challenges that it is facing and its ability to maintain credibility and a form of excellence uh, in spite of the uh, difficulties uh, in spite of the challenges. Uh, my comments really concern three quick points. One is governance and governance with the related autonomy. It's a problem we all share in North Africa. It's not, uh, it's not a Libyan problem, but I think it's a problem that we will need to fix if in fact our universities are going to become credible interlocutors to our international partners. This is very important. It's difficult to talk about autonomy when all of the money is coming from the state. Whoever gives you money wants the return. So we should, when we talk about autonomy, we should also talk about responsibility and evaluation processes and so forth to give some degree of comfort to the persons or to the instances or the organizations that are giving the money. Related to that is, and I have noticed that there is a, a, a quick turnover of university presidents. That's a very good indicator of autonomy, is that if the, who, who names the university president, who determines his mandate, and who can tell him to stop and go home, if that is, if that can be an arbitrary process, then it cuts deeply into university autonomy. So I think that's also a point that needs to be clarified. And then the other question is, is the difference between a university board, for someone like me who's learning now about the, the system, a university board of trustees and the university council, what in fact is the difference or is it just a difference in name? who presides and who names the University Board of Trustees in those situations. So that's the first comment very quickly. The second comment concerns research. And I think it's unfortunate that research doesn't come up in the project. I understand how it's built. It's built according to the four, uh, uh, the four criteria that are very important for us. But it's unfortunate that research, the insistence on research does not come until the 12th recommendation. Whereas it's one of the fundamental, even in a teaching university, we should be able to encourage those faculty who are excellent in their field and who can do useful research for their country. So I think it's a, 
I, I would like to see, I would suggest, since I am not directly involved, I would suggest that this be a point that is stressed immediately at the beginning within the framework of the quality assurance uh, 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 section. Section. The third, the third comment, and here I go very quickly, is that I have I, I have seen in other uh, papers that the Libyan universities have sixty percent of their students being women, and that's a very important that's a very important characteristic in North Africa. Again, I think it's something that renders the universities somewhat. Uh, specific and very, very interesting. So it's also, it would be nice to see women mentioned in the report, the opportunities given to women as students, but also as faculty and as contributors to the research being done in these universities. And thank you very much. I'm sorry if I was uh, a bit uh, long. Thank you very much, Professor Benjelou. So uh, I would like to check if the colleagues from Ajdabia are with us. Dr. Abed, who asked to intervene. Dr. Abed, are you with us? Can you hear us? From Ajdabia University. Uh, because it seems to us that the connection uh, come back. So we'd like to give him, if it's here in the possibility to talk. Dr. Abed from Ashdabia. Yes. yes yeah. Hello, do you, do you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Please. Oh, that's good. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf uh, of the University of Ashdabia, uh, and the president of the university, Professor Musa Mahmoud. Uh, I'm Dr. Abid al Orebi, by the way. Uh, I'm the head of the International Collaboration Office at the University of Ajdabia. So uh, first and foremost, I'm very pleased uh, to be here with you today uh, discussing the higher education system uh, in the Libyan universities. And I'm very grateful to the great work um, of uh, uh, all of our colleagues and all the work that uh, that uh, has been done throughout the last uh, couple of years uh, and just to go as straightforward as as we can uh, and as a teacher i'm i'm very concerned with what is actually happening in classroom so uh, and let me get to the point so when we have a good teacher a qualified teacher uh, with a very well equipped classroom uh, so the teacher will uh, should be able to uh, to apply lots of um, teaching methodologies, uh, and that will lead altogether to uh, a very uh, quality uh, education. So that's the base, uh, the, the main thing. What I hope, and uh, my expectation throughout the, uh, this collaboration, is to have a good equipped classroom uh, with a uh, very qualified teacher, a highly, highly qualified teacher, and um, uh, at the end we will uh, come up with a uh, quality education. So, uh, what I hope is the exchange of uh, staff members, probably uh, from the Libyan side, with uh, with uh, other uh, staff members from the universities. Uh, maybe globally, especially from the uh, European universities. My next point is... Uh, do you hear me now? Yes. Do you hear me now? Yes, we hear you with a little bit echo, but yes, please try to go ahead. So, uh, so uh, use of use of, use of um, uh, new teaching uh, methodologies. methodologies. That's the main That's thing, the main and main then main logistics main plus financial, financial support. support. So, so we know that we all the money all the uh, that comes to the Libyan uh, universities, uh, I mean the state uh, Libyan universities, comes from the Ministry of Education. Uh, in the last few years, we we uh, we no longer use or receive the same financial support, uh, and that is a major problem that is encountering. Uh, 
all of the Libyan universities uh, after what happened in uh, 2011. Um, so this is my uh, two basic um, points. I mean, classroom and then logistic and plus financial support. Uh, so thank you very much. And uh, I wish all of us the best of luck. Thank you very much for your, uh, for your intervention, your uh, inputs of reflection. Uh, before to answer to your question or to your feedback, we will first end this first round of questions and then I will give to my colleagues and to, to our staff to reply and so to, to animate the debate. So I think we have uh, Dr. Sultan Salem from the Ministry who would like to take the floor. And then we have also uh, Sabrata University. So, uh, Dr. Sal Sultan Salem. Assalamu alaikum, Lakhu al Jumala. We have to present a basic analysis. Just one organizational point. We would like your remarks to be uh, brief, and maybe uh, you can even send them by email. We also would like to propose to give the floor as a priority to the uh, deans of the universities who are present. And also Mr. Akut, uh, the director of the uh, quality center. Dr. Marcello, please, the time is passing very fast. Uh, can you control uh, the, the session? Okay, uh, as you prefer, you ask to talk, but uh, we will continue with the intervention and then uh, we'll try to summarize everything. We will be on time, don't worry about it. In any case, with a small delay, it's not, it's not a problem, I suppose. Please, Cecilia, manage the uh, several the other Okay, so, okay, thank you so much. So, we can continue with a colleague from Al Sabrata uh, University, Dr. Abdul Latif Ashaq. Hello, everybody. Uh, I will speak in Arabic because uh, the uh, Ministry of Education is there, and uh, the colleague, uh, some colleague, may cannot uh, speak English or understand me with English, so I will speak in Arabic. Uh, I would like to welcome. Bidaya Rahabi Rosal Jamiat, deans of the universities. مدير مكتب التعاون الدولي مدير إدارة الجامعة مدير مركز الجو تقييم الأداء نشكر الفريق مارسيلو والفريق بما الذي قدم هذا التقرير uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't risk the interpreter to go in consecutive because if you go in parallel, we don't understand nothing. Okay. And after this session, I am almost uh, Arabic speaking, but in this way, <laughs> I listen to voices. It's not easy for me to understand. Sorry okay. to interrupt you. Please go ahead. نتيجة الوباء كوفيد كورونا ليبيا وقعت في إيقاف لتدريس الطلاب في الجامعات. So we have shut down universities in Libya due to the corona crisis. قامت الوزارة بتواصل مع الجامعات والتفكير في the ministry communicated with the universities and uh, tried to develop uh, teaching uh, remotely. نحن في ليبيا لا توجد لدينا قوانين تدعم أو تساعد في التدريس عن بعد. We in Libya do not have any legal framework that uh, enhances or uh, can develop uh, e-learning or remote learning. فنحتاج من الجامعات الأوروبية 
ومن المنظمة الجامعات الأوروبية تواصل مع مكتب التعاون مع إدارة الجامعات في كيفية خلق قوانين هذه المرحلة أو لوائح معينة لهذه المرحلة مساعدة على الأقل كيف نستطيع الخروج من هذه الأزمة في وضع لوائح خاصة So we would like to ask from a UNIMED to try to develop systems and also bylaws in order to develop this kind of uh, remote learning. Uh, we, we need uh, from uh, the experience of the uh, European University uh, how they deal with e-learning and the uh, legal exam and how to help us in this uh, time. This is uh, my uh, idea. Uh, it's important because we are stop uh, teaching only small uh, projects from some faculty, they can do it, but uh, we are thinking if the European uh, University uh, they are willing in uh, e-learning and they have some legislation of that if uh, they can share it with us to, to manage this uh, crisis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor from Sabradan University. We, we now have also the president of the Garyan University, Dr. Mohamed Roma, who would like to, to intervene. Uh, Dr. Mohamed Roma, are, are you with us? Yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, first, I want to thank the UNIMED for this meeting uh, and Mr. Marshall and all with him. Uh, also, I want to thank all uh, the people in Libya uh, to join this uh, team. First, I want uh, to say that I will send all the missing uh, point that uh, doesn't include it in the report from the University of Guardian. I mean the, up, the last update by email to the UNIMED. Uh, the second thing, uh, I think, yes, as you say, the Libyan University more teaching than research oriented. So I hope uh, the UNIMED uh, press this point to, to give more uh, projects uh, to support uh, the universities in Libya, because this is the, the missing thing. Uh, also, as uh, Dr. Rashik said, the Libyan University almost start using e-learning. So I think we need some support for some stuff that to uh, be the e-learning uh, in good way. Uh, I think that's all my point, and thanks a lot. Thank you. Can I see the, there is a, there are other intervention requested? By the moment, no, I don't have other requests of intervention, so I suggest to uh, try to reply to answer to this first sure, round sure. and then we'll continue the debate. Okay, before to give the floor to you for your comments on the request of uh, uh, coming from our friends and colleagues, um, I would like just to mention three issues that have been advocated not only in our recommendation, but also uh, uh, by you. Uh, first of all, uh, about governance. Our former president, Professor Benjamin Lund, said very well how important is the topic of governance. And in the region, I mean, not only for Libyan universities, in the region, the main issues of uh, academic freedom and institutional autonomy, that, which is related to many other issues. As UNIMED, we are working a lot in, uh, on this issue with some national projects, one in Tunisia, and there is the Suggest project where also our Secretary General is totally involved in this process, Professor 
Ben Aziza, and we are working with all the Tunisian public universities. You can imagine a project with 13 universities with us, 13 Tunisian universities plus the European universities. We are in the third year of the project and we are not working to reform, obviously is not our mandate, but also uh, we are working to support the Tunisian Ministry of Higher Education in the reform process. Uh, we are doing the same in Algeria. We are doing a, a similar initiative in Iraq. We already did a similar initiative in Palestine. Just to mention that governance for UNIMED is one of the most important priority because we could consider uh, the university uh, an actor in the society, uh, not only a stakeholder, but is a, an actor in the society only if there is some autonomy. Uh, I don't want to say totally independent, but some autonomy at least. And now we are thinking to move from national dimension to regional dimension. Why not to have a large initiative on governance in the region? Uh, I, and I hope that Libyan universities will be not only part of this regional dimension, but also uh, eventually available to work with us in cooperation with the, 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 the European delegation, but also with other international actors to work with us on a national initiative about how to reform governance in the Libyan education system. A proposition coming from you and addressed to your ministry in close cooperation with international player could be at least something to start for, for a common reflection. Because the, our role in this issue of governance is just to support your process, not to try to have an external process of governance that arrive to you, arrive in Libya and try to change everything from, from abroad. It's not possible, of course. Uh, but again, please consider our availability to, to support you. The second issue is about the learning that is, has been evocated by several of you. Uh, we have to work with you jointly to help you in, in this crisis, of course. But also in this crisis, we have to think that there is the opportunity to define a long-term process for how to include e-learning in your uh, higher education system in the best way possible. There are two dimensions about e-learning. First of all, how to prepare the system to be ready to include uh, e-learning tools. As been evocated uh, clearly, for instance, the, the, the examination process, which is quite common also to the European side. We have the same problem in the European universities, how to allow students to have examination via, via e-learning and so on. Uh, the other, this is the first point, how to provide a policy framework for e learning in the country. Because as university, you can do what you want, but you need in any case a policy framework. And considering that the lack of experience is in the region about that, I think that also in this case, we could have a regional initiative related to all the Southern Mediterranean countries, how to have a registration framework in every country adapted to the situation on how to include the learning and so on. The other issues, once we work on the policy framework, then we have to work at, the, uh, at every university level. To move from physical, from face-to-face -face lessons to e-learning is not an easy task. And we need that to train teachers, first of all, and to include students in this reflection, how to move from face-to-face to e-learning. -face e and this must be done by, via a training of trainers and also these instruments that we have with capacity building and so on, could be financed by European Commission, could be something. But I think that we could, uh, in, in some case, uh, uh, identify other formula. But the train of trainers is uh, mandatory because we could have the, the situation that we have a very good policy framework, 
with all the, the, the legislation process, with everything well defined, but if we don't have the competencies on the other side, we are doing nothing. The last point that I would like to mention that was evocated several times is research. In this case, I have to say that this uh, lack of capacity or this needs uh, to improve research dimension in your university is quite common to all Southern Mediterranean universities, to some, to all Arab countries, obviously with some differences. And I think there is something that we have to address through, first of all, capacity building actions to improve the quality of your university in this research dimension, uh, to open the door to cooperation with private sector uh, that hopefully will be soon another element that you could consider uh, in your uh, international dimension, but also at national level dimension. And, and I think that, uh, for instance, we already submitted some project to improve the capacity building, the, the research dimension in uh, Libyan universities. But I think that is a very, very strong point, considering the, the potentiality of Libya. I think that we have to work all together to, on a different scale with a small project, with trying to have big project, but also to identify a national strategy on how to improve research in your universities. At mini, starting from the ministry, obviously, uh, but also inviting you as university leaders to improve this national debate on the importance of research dimension in your university. It's not only a matter of money, it's a matter of vision, of strategy. And, this, and if we need our support to improve this debate at national level on this, we are sure with you. Then money come, projects come, it's not a problem. The money is there in, in some way or another they will arrive. It's not this the problem. The most important issues to define that research dimension is uh, uh, an important strategy, an important tool for your uh, university, as it is also in the other countries, because we are working a lot in many other countries with the same, uh, the same priority. And just to, to conclude, uh, on, uh, and I leave the, the floor to my colleague, uh, that surely know better than me how to answer to your request. But about e-learning in particular, I, collect, collect, I, con, I come back to Ramadan. Uh, I think that a national initiative as you are managing is a very important issue. There is a similar initiative in Tunisia, which is the Virta University of Tunis. Uh, I think that is important, but at the same time, we have to work with every universities to improve, to improve the capacity to conduct and to invite the students to be able to participate. Because there is a huge problem of digital divide in this e-learning dimension with affect students that, does not, that have not the capacity to follow e-learning e -learning activity. Uh, that in some way could be something that's about inclusion or not inclusion of our students in this, uh, in this process. But again, we have to find a way to use this crisis to move from the crisis to an opportunity. Okay, I stop here. I leave my colleague. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Marcello. I think that there are some, my colleagues, uh, Marco and Martina, would like to uh, add some more comments on the issues that have been raised related to research and, and teaching innovation. So, um, Marco, yes, please. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, regarding research, I'll take a few more minutes of your time. Uh, three main issues, uh, according to us, are crucial in this in this framework. First of all, uh, sorry to repeat myself, the research, the attention that we are, uh, that, that we see is, uh, uh, is on research and coming directly from you is really, in our view, the results of five years of Erasmus Plus K action to capacity is the natural consequence of this action. 
and uh, uh, it's a, like a step-by-step -step process when you familiarize with the uh, idea of performing activities in, uh, in this field after having really benefited from this first step. The second point is that one of the issue you uh, focused on when answering our question is the lack not only of research capacities at academic level, but uh, more in detail of research management the lack of research management capabilities and the need to improve also the academic staff research management capabilities. And on the other side, academic staff capacities, but also administrative staff. And this is the reason why we continuously stress the need to upgrade also uh, the capacities of the administrative staff working and managing research. We have several um, experience and examples here in Italy, and this is, uh, I'm thinking, for example, the Polytechnic of Turin, which is already in contact with you for some of the projects, and I think this is something we can really transfer, uh, or obviously adapting by your context uh, in, in Italy. And last but not least, uh, there is the issue of the infra infrastructure. Uh, obviously, it's not possible to do research uh, without proper infrastructure. Uh, in some cases, those infrastructure have been affected by the warlike situation. Uh, in other cases, this is a uh, lack that we have also in other countries. But I think that improving together infrastructure and capacities, uh, this is a win-win situation when we can have an impact on short, but also more importantly for the long term. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marco. Uh, Martina, would you like to add something? Um, just a few words. Uh, I've seen that many of you have raised the issue of uh, teaching innovation and uh, improving the skills of the teaching staff at the university. This is one aspect that we have tried to stress along the whole work and the whole report of Libya Star, because we firmly believe that uh, the only way to improve in terms of education provided and quality assurance of the institution is through the constant training of the university staff member. So university teachers, educators, but as well as administrative staff, which is as important as those delivering education, they need to be trained along the all uh, the whole academic and um, path they have at the university to guarantee a high level of performance and efficiency, but also to provide students with teaching um, methods which are innovative and uh, new pedagogical approaches. Um, so we believe that on the one side, it is important to um, establish an awarding scheme so that to, ins to give incentives to the teachers and to the staff for continuous advancement. And on the other hand, we relate again to what it means to be networked in uh, a more comprehensive system of international universities and through the cooperation projects and what we have been stressing so far, capacity building and cooperation may be the tool to advance. And that's what we have seen so far in our experience of projects with Libyan University. And that's what we aim for Libyan University in the future, to be able to learn from more experienced university, but also to be able to learn from each other and advance uh, for the benefit of the staff, of the training of the staff, but also for the benefit of the students which will be trained by those educators. So uh, the, the whole there are a lot of aspects which are strongly related to each other, the quality assurance, the training of the staff, the management of the university, so the government system, and they all have to work in a common framework and keep being trained and trained for the advancement and improvement of the whole Libyan higher education system.
Thank you, Martina. Uh, just a few words from my side to on governance. As Martina was mentioning, the, the importance to connect uh, quality assurance, teaching, innovation, and management higher education institution. I believe indeed that the Ministry of, higher, of, the Ministry of Education in Libya is, is a crucial player, of course, in defining a national strategy for Libya universities. So uh, it's very important that there is this, a dialogue and cooperation framework as it, as it is, as it's already there, but it's, it's important to, to strengthen uh, the relationship uh, between ministry and the higher education institution to understand which is the autonomy of universities within the regard and to adopt also institutional um, strategic planning and the university mission of, university, of the universities according to a national framework, according to a shared strategic vision and mission. Uh, uh, so I think it's, it's very important that these uh, both parties can, can, of course, continue to dialogue and to cooperate among, among them. Um, I think we have uh, other two interventions, other two requests of um, speaking from university from Benghazi, Dr. Ali GR, if I'm not wrong, and from the University of Zawiya. Uh, from Benghazi University, would like, would like to start from, from you. Dr. Ali, are you with us? Okay, yes. hello, do you hear Please. me now? Yes, we hear uh, you. Please. Uh, uh, so I, I, I would like to uh, start with the, uh, uh, the needs of the Libyan University of changing the policy rules and the regulations because we're facing a lot of problems regarding to the uh, policies uh, which is raising uh, when the COVID-19 start, uh, the changing to the e-learning facing uh, some problem regarding to the policy. Uh, as in Benghazi University, uh, we start earlier in e-learning, but uh, after that we have, uh, we have to stop because uh, the, the regulation and uh, the policies. And also uh, the policies has uh, been, uh, has to update it because if we talk about the long-term cooperation with the partner from Europe uh, in, in the policy and the regulation of Libyan education, I think we have uh, facing some problem regarding to the long uh, cooperation, uh, especially for the double degree between the universities in, uh, in Libya and uh, Europe universities, which is uh, not, uh, mentioned in our policy and regulation. Uh, this is the, regarding to the policies. The second point uh, I will uh, mention regarding to the international cooperation. Uh, mostly the Libyan University cooperate uh, in short-term uh, projects uh, under the key action two, uh, as mentioned in your report. Uh, uh, so uh, we're trying to have uh, uh, long-term cooperation previously with the uh, 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 universities in, in EU, but we have facing some uh, difficulties, uh, uh, especially in the long-term cooperation uh, uh, with the European universities, uh, whether under the umbrella of uh, Erasmus or in uh, self-efforts from our universities. Uh, for example, in Benghazi universities, we, we're trying to, uh, uh, to have a, do a double degree with the uh, Council University in Germany, but regarding to quality and insurance issues, uh, in our programs, uh, we're facing some problems and uh, regarding to the policies as well. So uh, we can, I, I can suggest to uh, focus in the next steps to uh, uh, long-term cooperation of how we can uh, start with uh, short-term cooperation like a capacity building program, which is lead to the long-term cooperation in the future, how to uh, uh, improve the quality and the issues and insurance in our programs and uh, uh, in, in workshops or in training or how, how, how we can achieve the accreditation from well-known organization in, in, in Europe so we, uh, we can uh, accelerate the, uh, the process of uh, long-term cooperation uh, with the uh, European partners. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Dr. Ali, for your in intervention. Um, time is running, so we, we, I would like to give the, the floor to uh, the colleague, Dr. Kriyama from University of Zawiya. Please, from University of Zawiya, the, the floor is yours. Yeah, hello, can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you well. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk Arabic. Yeah, if, if possible. It's okay. Yeah, so in this case, we, we ask the interpreter uh, to make consecutive uh, translations so that we can, we can uh, understand better. Thank you. Because I'm going to talk Arabic. Yeah. جامعة الفائدة دكتور مارك ودكتور رانجرين ودكتور مارسيلو نشكرهم جزيل الشكر على ما قدموه للجامعات الليبية وبالخاصة الجامعات المشتركة في جم... في المشاريع الدولية اللي نشتغل فيها الآن الحين عندي بعض الإضافات بسيطة جدا على ما تفضل به أخوتي الزملاء من الجامعات الليبية كلهم ركزوا جميعهم ركزوا Did you... Can you hear me? Sorry, Dr. Kriyama. Yes, we hear you, but we don't hear the, the translation. I don't know if the interpreter is with us. Uh, no. Uh, no, uh, it's not there. He left. So. Okay. Go ahead in English. Please. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank you, all of you, and especially Dr. Marco, Dr. Ranino, Dr. Marcelo, for uh, your work to uh, join us for many projects here, Libyan project uh, in Europe and Commission. Uh, I would like to focus in uh, three points, and uh, I would like to add it, the uh, two points. One, it is the, uh, as the, all the, uh, my colleagues uh, consider the uh, uh, e-learning, but as you know that we have in the future, in the past, we, uh, we uh, submitted with you, Unimed, uh, and a project in research. Uh, how can we, uh, uh, what can I say, research in Libyan University, and like the project in Rome. We considered the uh, international project, uh, the inter cooperation in uh, international cooperation office, how can we improve the skills of it? The same we have applied before. The, how can we improve the skills in the, the, the research center in Libya? I think that is good now if we can focus in it. The second one is the immigration. The, uh, the immigration, it is important one, I think. If we can make any project in it, it will be good, I think, in this, in this now, in the situation in, in, the situation in Libya. It is I think maybe we can focus on these two projectors added in the projectors that we, my colleague uh, mentioned before. That is all, yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Silvia? Uh, yes, thank you very much. I don't have any other requests uh, from no. universities, but I don't know if there are any other um, from our partner would like to intervene from Libyan University before to, to conclude. There is an intervention requested by Professor ah, Aziza. Yes, I'm just seeing the, the chat. Professor Ben Aziza. We don't hear you, Professor Ben Aziza. We hear a lot of noising from your side. Probably it's a connection problem. Do you want to try again? Oui, maintenant c'est bon. Essayez de parler, je ne sais pas si on aura encore des problèmes de connexion. I would like to speak Arabic. Yes, of course. Fadal. I would like to speak Arabic. Thank you. I am sorry. 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 I am sorry
التي تقبلها طويلا منذ ثلاث سنوات كنا نريد أن نجمع يعني مباشرة لكن لم تكن مناسبة أن نجمع يعني في عندما تصفح يعني التقرير كما قال زميلي بنجلون تعترض مشاكل الجامعات بشكل عام وخاصة الجامعات المغربية يعني هناك يعني نفس المشاكل في ليبيا نفس المشاكل في تونس I think the problems we have in Morocco or Libya are the same as the ones in Tunisia. نأخذ مثل مثلاً يعني سوز أمثلة المثال الأول حول يعني كمية الدروس مقابل البحث وثانياً عدم التوازن بين الجامعات. The unbalance between universities. There is a very low rate. university professors. Number is very low, or percentage is very low in Libya and Tunisia. The percentage is less than. نقطة أخرى متعلقة ب يعني الاستقلالية. The other point I would like to talk about is in autonomy. يجب أن لا تفهم على أنها استقلالية عن السلطة. We should not understand independence or autonomy as. لأنه الجامعة الجامعة والوزارة. يعملان معا. University and the ministry work together. ال ال الوزارة يجب أن تبقى في مستوى الاستراتيجية العامة التخطيط العام. Should be part of the general strategy and general planning. ولا تدخل في الجزئيات المتعلقة بحياة الجامعة. It should not intervene in the details related to the activities. يعني university. نحن نتحدث عن استقلالية فاعلة. نقطة أخرى متعلقة أنا أتمنى توضيح هل عدد الطلبة الموجودين الآن في ليبيا هو العدد الموجود في في التقرير؟ Students in Libya. If that was the case, then there is a problem in the level of the assessment. Then we have a problem of counting these people. And we are asking them to think about the best means to solve this problem, especially in the internal part. Especially in the universities situated in the internal part. And we live the same problem in Tunis, between the universities of the past and the universities of the present. In Tunisia and in Libya, because there is a problem or difference between modern universities and the old ones. In relation to the board concerning the accreditation commission. يعني كيف يمكن أن نؤسس للجنة تعمل باستقلالية عن الجامعة وباستقلالية عن الوزارة؟ لأن لا يمكن أن نكون يعني حكم مقرر ولا متلقي يعني أن نفكر بشكل أفضل 
في ارساء هياكل قادره على قياده الجامعات نحو الافضل وشكرا Thank you very much, Professor Benadiza. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I think we have last comment again from Ajdabia University. I kindly ask our colleague from Ajdabia to be very brief and then I leave the floor to our director for the conclusion. Uh, from Ajdabia University. Hello? Is there anyone? because we receive a message that they would like to intervene again, but probably they are not connected anymore. Uh -huh. or, uh, hello, hello? Yes, hello, yes, we hear you. Yes, speaking. Yes, please. Okay, okay. Um, so um, uh, I got two main three points. Um, we understand the, the complexity of, um, of the formalities and how things work uh, for Iran, uh, Erasmus. And we know that this process is, is run by, the, uh, by maybe a larger uh, organization. But we at the University of Ajdabia, at least, um, aside from the other Libyan universities, uh, we would like to see some real consequences of our work uh, as quickly as possible. So uh, are there any, any, uh, is there anything we can do to, to speed it up? I mean, um, once this COVID-19 thing is, is over, um, I'm proposing a physical meeting. I mean, a face-to-face -face meeting uh, somewhere in probably Tunisia or in Europe, uh, where we can have all of our documents with us. Uh, I think this will, will, will make things, uh, will speed things up and probably we can see lots of uh, consequences uh, uh, a lot quicker. This is one, one point. Uh, the other thing is, I mean the supply of equipment. For example, if, if this project is expected to um, equip the universities with any kind of um, uh, learning facilities, um, I, I mean, I hope that we can discuss the possible ways of delivering these um, learning facilities to Libya. So this is another main important point that we, we, uh, we are thinking about here, at least at the University of Ajdabia. And uh, I thank you sincerely for uh, giving me the floor. Thanks. Thank you. Can I, uh, there is another request? Yeah, there is another from Sabrata Abu Gila, yes. From a colleague of Sabrata, please, I can't ask you to be, to be very, Fast because I would like uh, we started in a little delay, but I would like to conclude not with salve, salve, delay. salve, buongiorno. Io preferisco parlare in italiano. Se <laughs> Grazie. Ma è fantastico. <laughs> but this is a problem, I suppose, eh, for your colleagues. Vi ringrazio sentitamente perché io capo di portamento di studi turistici presso la nostra stupenda Università di Saprata. Io diciamo di uscenti di lingua e cultura, storia di lingua italiana presso questa diciamo l'Università di Saprata. Io vorrei sottolineare una domanda molto importante. Tutti i laureati uh, fuori uh, in Italia e tutta Europa, quali sono la proficienza può muovere questi tutti i professori che si sono laureati e tutti i titoli che hanno? Quali sono la capacità, quali sono i requisiti per promuovere questi, diciamo, lo staff di docenza, diciamo, di, dell'università. Spero di essere poter, diciamo, tutti chiari. Assalamu alaikum, Marco, che ne favore? Thank you, thank you very much for... اللغة الوطنية لدولة ليبيا اللغة العربية ويجب احترام اللغة العربية والتحدث بها احنا طلبنا وفرضنا فرض على اتحاد الجامعات الروسية انه يحضر مترجم خاص باللغة العربية احنا في دولة تتحدث اللغة العربية واللغة الوطنية حسب الدستور اللغة الليبية 
فرجاء خاص انك تحترم نفسك وتتكلم باللغه العربيه، تتكلم باللغه العربيه وليس الايطالي، الايطالي ليس Uh, okay, uh, let me play the role of translator this time. And uh, the, the main, if I understood well, the main question coming from our colleague of Sabrata is related how to support uh, the... Professor the... Barcello, caduta la linea, chiedo scusa gentilmente. Okay, let me... me... Yes. I'm io, io preferisco parlarvi in italiano perché io docente di lingua e cultura italiana. I, 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 Sono sì. molto lieto di parlarvi tutti diciamo in italiano, pur parlando diciamo in inglese, ma io preferisco l'italiano. Grazie mille, but now I have to, to, si, to, tra to translate to English uh, and not to Arabic because unfortunately I, I could say in Arabic a few words, my, but my first, my first most important philosophy is Shueya Shueya. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Which is, I, I, would an important okay, I would like to talk in Arabic or in English. Uh, 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 as you okay. prefer. Okay, okay. In the beginning, I want to thank you for your attention to your friends and friends in the University of Libya. Thank all the colleagues from the different Libyan universities. Hal tasmani, Sayyid Marcello? Mr. Marcello, can you hear me? Yes, Fadal, we can hear you, yes. بالنسبة لأعضاء هي التدريس في الجامعة الليبية وبالأخص جامعتنا الموقرة جامعة صبراتا حقيقة لدي استفسار ما هي الطرق لإعادة صقل ورفع كفاءة كفاءة أعضاء هي التدريس في الجامعات الليبية هذا سؤال في غاية الأهمية أرجو من حضرتكم وسادتكم الرد بالخصوص شكرا جزيلا ونشكركم على تجاوبكم وعلى اهتمامكم وجامعة سبراتا دائما تشكركم على اهتمامكم القيم In Italiano vi ringrazio sentitamente per la vostra gentile disponibilità. Con il Presidente dell'Università speriamo di poter visitare prestissimo Italia. Speriamo, speriamo anche noi di venire presto. Okay. Vi auguriamo tutto il meglio, grazie mille. Thank you, thank you very much now to, for your intervention now in Arabic. I think that all the colleagues surely understand. I will uh, try to, first of all, I would like to ask to Sultan Salem mm -hmm. and to the Neo Ali Bakir and if in case to Antonis Zamoris from the European delegation, if they want to say something just to, to end the session and then I will summarize some points for the next webinar. Sultan. Yes, Marcello, I was on for you. Excuse me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear you. Can you hear? No, if you want to say something to conclude this session, you and the, the National Erasmus Officer, and then I ask also to the European delegation, well, to Antonis, okay. if they would say something, and then I go to conclude this uh, very long morning. I think the meeting was pretty successful and we have heard from the all universities that are joining this program and just we want them to write down this notes and send it to you to include for, for the program. Uh, what I'm suggesting to to uh, have another meeting, local meeting with the Libyan partner here to discuss the report uh, more widely and uh, carefully and, uh, and uh, yeah, and there is some data need to be corrected in, 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 the, in, in the report in somehow. 
uh, and we will think, I will discuss with you the meeting. Yeah, the meeting goes like this, 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 this way. I think the, the, the minister wants to meet with us. Uh, we have to, uh, to prepare some carefully for the next meeting, especially the Manhaliya or uh, systematically, to get the out of, of, uh, of the, the, the conclusion there. Uh, as I said before, uh, the Arabic language is important. I'm very sorry for the guy who from Sobrata speaking in Italian. And 100 percent of the, the colleagues are here. They are, don't understand Italian, uh, so this is very shame for us here. I mean, if he, he is very good in Italian, so he can talk to you in private line and discuss the matter with you. Uh, we will uh, we will have a meeting as your local part will leave the universities next week. Probably will be prepare that, and we will let you. Uh, our conclusion about the data, especially for the data. Most of the universities said not to me that some data is not correct in the, in the tables and the content of the, and the report. And we have to go back to them and, and correct it. Uh, otherwise, the, 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 the meeting was very successful and uh, very, 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 very good. Um, I think we have to, to thank you very much. Thank you, Sultan. Uh, I think that, first of all, about the data, that data, obviously, we collected them uh, two years ago, and then after interview, one year and a half, then we sent to all the partners to confirm them. Some of them confirmed, some of them didn't answer to us, but in any case, data are data. We can adapt, update our report without any problem. It's just uh, something to share among us. But all the data that we included in report are coming directly by you. There is not any problem to, to update the report. Uh, uh, and then... Uh, it's five years now, or four years. I mean, most of the data, I think, needs to be updated. But, but I, I mean, again, the data are important, of course, but it's not the most important issue. For sure, we have to update the report to verify on bilateral dimension with the, each of you all the data to collect uh, the, 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 the updated information, the more recent one, to have a new version of the report with the data correct. But the most important element of our common work are remain the recommendations. Now, I think that there is more or less, more or less a mutual agreement on the recommendation, more or less we discussed it about uh, our recommendations, our requests are more or less in line. And this is very important because the, the goal of the meeting of today was to verify if the recommendations that we provided through the analysis that we did are in line with your expectations. It yes. seems that we are in the right track. Then yes. we, will, we will work on the data for sure. And let me say about the, 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 um, the colleague from Sabata, uh, talking in Italian, uh, we have to obviously, once we talk officially in meetings and so on, to try to be able to provide the, the common language or to provide the right trans uh, interpretation system. Yeah, I so. hope that for the 24 meeting we will be able to mo will be more successful the, the services, we will do many other tests and trials to be able but time by time to listen to different languages and in some case my poor Italian, not common languages as foreign languages is also bad. It was very, and in any case, it, it, it said the same issues in Arabic, but it's obviously, obviously the, the, the language must be, must remain among Arabic and and in English. And I, I'm, I hope that soon I will be able to talk to you directly in Arabic. Probably able to come back to university in Tripoli. Why not to learn a little Arabic? You, you will come. I'm 100% uh, agree with you about the recommendations are there uh, will be the start point for, for all of that. And uh, the 13 points are covered all the sides of the, the project. And uh, for the 24th meeting, I think we have to uh, focus on the uh, university president. They, were, they must be joining us. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, Hali, can you, would you like some, something?
In Italian, please, Ali. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, you know, it's now Mediterranean style, we have to be yeah. always smiling. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, I would like to, this, uh, to take this opportunity to say thank you for all my colleagues here. Long time no see, a lot of faces, we have shared a lot of moments, good time of having a meeting regarding to the higher education project management and development of uh, such a new programs and the proposals. I wish the success of all our colleagues that are waiting for the results of Erasmus uh, Plus uh, results. Also, we uh, have a new opportunities to cooperate and work together again with uh, UNIMED. And uh, I can see this is a very positive meetings. Uh, part of some technical issues that we face it, I think everything is good, uh, smooth, and no, no, no one is completely perfect. We could le learn lessons from conducting such uh, an experience of having online meetings, and uh, I have three points I would like to mention for this kind of activities. One point is to have uh, pre-preparation for the next meeting that expected to be conducted on 24th of June. Uh, the second is uh, to have a call for a pilot uh, online uh, conversation with our colleagues so everyone could start to check the capability of their connection and tools they will use to uh, engage in the next meeting. The, 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 the third one, and it's most important, we wish to see physical meetings face-to-face, -face, if it's possible for many of uh, our colleagues here, to conduct uh, a, a, a meeting to discuss a cross-point uh, issues that all Libyan universities are interested to come up with uh, a quality of data, accurate data, because this report is one of the most important reports regarding to the higher education system in Libya that will be a reference to many organizations seeking cooperation with the local and national authorities. At the end, I wish all the success of, for all colleagues and uh, hopefully to see uh, a new uh, challenges and new opportunities for all of us in the near future. Thank you very much. Shukran jazeel and salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Hali, for your intervention and Tonis. It's now your turn because the delegation listened a lot. Now you have to say at least something. Thank you very much, Marcel. Of course, uh, I, we listened a lot. I listened a lot and uh, I have to say I'm uh, very much impressed by the, the high level of participation, of course. Uh, I mean, that, is, that goes without saying, but most importantly about the, the interest and the commitment of all the participants in the recommendations of the report. I think it is very important that there is a common ground when it comes to the recommendations, uh, and there's a common understanding of the, the thing, the, you know, the actions that need to be taken forward in terms of improving uh, elements of the Libyan higher education system. Um, I have personally met and, you know, had the opportunity through our EU-funded projects in other occasions to to see the high level of professionalism and commitment of Libyan universities. So I'm, uh, I'm very hopeful that this uh, discussion, the initiation of this discussion will uh, lead to concrete uh, measures and in, in improvements that uh, the, the leaders of the Libyan education system would like to see happening. On our side, we, we are also very committed to continue working with um, the, the universities in Libya, either through the established uh, international programs uh, Erasmus Plus and Horizon 2020, we encourage very much uh, more intense uh, you know, participation and efforts from the Libyan universities to participate in proposals, form consortia with international partners, and more and more, uh, we, we want to see that. Uh, that will even by itself in, increase the possibilities of success in, an, in an open and competitive procedure. And of course, um, you know, our universities remain open in the beginning for, 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 for uh, spending semesters, semesters in, you know, in the experience of, uh, of studies in Europe. 
And of course, there are other programs only. This is not only Horizon 2020 and Erasmus. There are other programs with less opportunities, of course, for third countries, but there still uh, are opportunities. Um, last but not least, I would like, of course, to very much uh, welcome the, the idea for um, embedding institutionalizing e-learning as a method of teaching in, uh, in the higher education system in Libya. I think the latest experience with COVID has accelerated what was possible technologically, but was not so much, you know, we're not very much fond of adopting this type of, of working methods. Now I think we have a gold opportunity to, golden opportunity to, you know, uh, embed this in, a, in the way we're working. We, we do that today as well. Uh, and we are ready to help with that, with uh, seeking common ways, sharing best practice from Europe, uh, whenever this is, has, been, uh, has been implemented with success. Uh, of course, we look forward for the 24 uh, event. Um, we will participate as well. And uh, we hope to be able to bring uh, more colleagues also from Brussels who could share some more, more details about um, the work of the European Commission. Um, once again, um, a very warm thanks to UNIMED, to all the universities and uh, uh, the, the Ministry of Education. Uh, very happy to be here and uh, very happy to continue discussing and working with you in this, in, in this track. Thank you. Thank you, Antonis. I go uh, very fast to and very briefly to conclude this session. I have to thank all of you for your participation some brief comments and notes. Uh, Erasmus Plus is an important tool, the capacity building project, but also the international credit mobility. But now we are facing some problem about Erasmus Plus because we don't know about the future. It seems that the new program that normally will start in 2021 will be in a delay. It could be start with one, one year of uh, delay. I hope that the Commission will uh, find a way to at least to reduce the negative impact of this delay and will find some solution. But please take in consideration this. Uh, we are still waiting on the results of the last evaluation process, but please consider that Erasmus Capacity Building plus Horizon 2020 is uh, one of the most important uh, uh, tools for the international cooperation. Uh, about the technical issues, I'm sorry for this uh, some time, time by time, some problem. At the beginning was very nice, then we start to have some problem, but I hope that we'll be able to manage such situation for the next webinars. In any case, I thank the interpreter for the work that they have done, considering the situation and all the difficulties that they, they faced during the session with us. Thanks again. Uh, I agree with all of you that to have a physical meeting will be fantastic and I hope that after some, uh, I hope that the COVID-19 will be, will finish at least, will give us some uh, possibility and we will discuss uh, if possible to organize a physical event to go more in detail, not about the data, but also to go more in detail about cooperation, attracting international players because always, always not every, everything can be done by, by UNIMED, of course, and not also by, by the delegation in itself. We need to attract the interest coming from other international players like uh, DAD, British Council, uh, Campus France, and many others. Uh, but I hope in any case to meet all of you in the physical dimension. Uh, if some of you want to talk with us on bilateral meetings to go more in detail about the data, please, send us an email that we will be more than happy to talk to you before the 24th of June with a scheduling a meeting uh, among us. Uh, the last issues that I would like to introduce is that from tomorrow we will start the UNIMED Week in Brussels, which is an online uh, two weeks meeting with people of European Commission and other international uh, actors and players. Um, the, 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 Webinar of the 24 is included in the calendar, in the agenda of the UNIMED Week in Brussels, but we will have many other meetings during these two weeks. If we want to know more about the UNIMED Week in Brussels, please visit our website where there is the agenda. If you want to participate, to attend some of these meetings, 
please go to the registration form. I will be more than happy to see again you in some other meeting. For instance, next Wednesday, we will have a meeting with DG Education to talk about the international cooperation uh, in Erasmus Plus program. Next Monday, we will have a meeting with the DG Research discussing about the international cooperation in the framework of the European programs, Horizon 2020 and the future Horizon Europe to discuss about international cooperation. And um, Monday afternoon, we will have a, a session with, about migration and so on. Another session about mobility, another session on employability, which is another key challenge. I invite you to have, to have a look to the, our website for the Unimed Week in Brussels, obviously, again, online. The last issue is that uh, I agree that after COVID-19, we have to come back to a physical event. But we don't know exactly when this will finish, definitely. I think that we have to continue, in any case, our activity online or with all the tools that we can use, because we can't stop. Uh, it's now time, time to continue to running with our activity in the way that is possible to do. Obviously, looking to come back to such normality of traveling and moving and to see personally and to do some uh, networking, uh, drinking a coffee uh, or eating some very good uh, Mediterranean food. I thank all my team and my colleagues for the work that they've done for their participation today. I thank all of you for your patience and for your contribution. Uh, thanks to the delegation, to Antonis, to Madame Goffin, and obviously to our, let me do my director job, to our secretary general and to our honorary president. Unfortunately, our president was not possible to join us today because he is engaged in university activity, uh, but I'm sure that for the 24 event, uh, he will be uh, with us and he, he is supporting our, our initiative as in continuity with the, the former president. Thanks again, we are in a little delay, but I hope that the next time for the 24 meeting, everything will be perfect on time. And I wish you a fantastic week and see you soon online. Bye, ciao. Bye-bye everyone, thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye, thank, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Have a, have a good afternoon. Thank you very much. Ciao, Ali. Ciao, all of you. Ciao. Ciao, Wail. Ciao, Hanid. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Marcello. Ciao, ciao. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.